I am proposing the first ever Cowboys week, where for the next eight days, you will have four seasons of Cowboys franchise posted every two days. The catch is every video has to hit 8,000 likes in the first day. If we do that, this will be the Cowboys week and we will be four seasons ahead and hopefully with lots of Super Bowls by then. Guys, Cowboys franchise, hashtag Cowboys week down below if you guys want this. Let's go. My tone's a little different for the start of this franchise. Guys, this is the Cowboys rebuild. I am going to be taking this team that I think is so unbelievably talented. Guys like Micah Parsons, C.D. Lamb, Trayvon Diggs, and trying to make this a dynasty and start winning some Super Bowls. The first thing I'm gonna be doing, and I know it's on a lot of Cowboys fans' mind, is I am going to be cutting Dak Prescott and saving that $40 million. A lot of people don't realize the Cowboys are currently somewhat broke. They can't afford to pay Gilmore, Smith, Pollard because of how big the Dak Prescott contract is. Guys, it's showtime. This is a completely serious tone. This is for all the Cowboys fans. This team is too good to not be standing at the podium with a Super Bowl. It is showtime. Please, kill like button. Let's do this. It's a great QB draft. You got guys like Caleb Williams, Drake May, Michael Penick, Jaden Daniels. Let's go find our new franchise QB and make this the greatest dynasty in all of sports for America's team. Love you, let's dance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season one of Cowboys Franchise. As you guys saw in the intro, we are starting this franchise after the season. Bob bam look on the screen. The Kansas City Chiefs just defeated the Detroit Lions in the Super Bowl, and we are starting today. Now, first things that I have to do, and the one thing that I mentioned in the intro that is gonna make this a little bit different, um, obvious, we have cat problems. We have three superstars that need money that we just don't have. And the first thing that I have to do is accept the fifth year option of Micah Parsons. That is an absolute no brainer. Micah Parsons needs to come back. Now, the main thing about this franchise, and I'm not saying that this is what I personally think the Cowboys should do. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think that this is necessarily the best move for the Cowboys, nor do I know if this is the best move for the Cowboys. But video reasons, and I think entertainment wise, I want to see what I can do with this team by releasing Dak Prescott. Now, as you know, I think Dak Prescott's a really good QB. He has not performed in the playoffs and this is an unbelievable roster. We can save $34 million by making this decision right now. Now, what do we have left on our roster? We have Trey Lance who needs a fifth year option and Cooper Rush and a team that needs a quarterback. Now for the series, he's 31 years old. He needs to be paid next year um, and he's gonna want a ridiculous amount of money. For the series, guys, we are making the very, very, very difficult decision to release Dak Prescott into free agency and save the money. We do also take a penalty by doing it, but in the long run, there is going to be saving. CD Lamb, I'm gonna do an entire roster breakdown, kind of, I'm gonna save that a little bit for after the draft and as we go. But as you can see now in cap room, I now have $54 million to spend because we got rid of Dak Prescott, which leaves the door open to make some different decisions. Before I had no money to get rid of anything. As soon as they do that, it opens up everything and gives us more options. Now, I'm not certain about Tony Pollard. I will say he is not really the number one guy that I am most in. I think he's a beast. I like Tony Pollard a lot. Five-year guy out of Memphis. I like his change of direction. The reason is I don't like spending $10 million on a 27-year-old running back. We'll talk about him in a minute. The Gilly Lock is apparently still a superstar which he's 33 years old. With this, I could offer him a one year, $11 million deal. Bring back Gilmore, because Gilmore is a beast, on just a one year salary. Offer him, let's offer him, let's say $12 million to come back for one season. And Gilmore is gonna come back for one season. The other guy that we can do the exact same type of deal with is Tyrone Smith, who if we are gonna go the direction of a rookie quarterback and we're gonna make those decisions, I think it's really difficult to not have Tyrone Smith on this team. Whether or not he will accept this, 
That's the question. But these are pretty much just one year rentals until we get stuff sorted out. With Dak Prescott off the books, our team's gonna be significantly cheaper. Tyrone Smith is also going to be coming back. Now, Dorrance Armstrong, um, Tyler Badiaz, all of these guys, I am very 50-50. Trey Lance, I'd have to accept an option that would pay him, I think, a total of $28 million signing bonus-wise. I can't afford that. It'll give him a one-year $27 million contract as a 65 overall. I've used Trey Lance in other franchise. I am not gonna make, I'm gonna make the decision to go away from Trey Lance and potentially look to draft somebody to hopefully be the new face of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, as you saw, Tony Pollard is not my priority to bring back. The main reason, and this kind of leads a little bit more into, let's talk about this team because there's a lot of really cool things on this team. The main guy that I really like out of Kansas State is this Deuce Vaughn. Um, I think he, 5'6", 176, 91 acceleration, 88 change of direction. I think his potential is absolutely through the roof. Um, as a receiving back, as an elusive back, if we don't have Tony Pollard, I don't think, I do think our run game will be okay. We got Rico Dowell and Tony Pollard at 27 years old. You gotta figure next year, maybe even when this season starts, you're, look, you're looking at a 28 year old running back who's only gonna get slower. I love his stats as of right now, but I do struggle to bring him back. Running back's a position that I do think I can find in the draft and that there will be value at in the draft. Looking at receiver, we have other things that we gotta talk about. Brandon Cooks, I like Brandon Cooks a lot. 10 year guy, um, but in the long term plans, next year he needs money. I think this is a team that you could definitely make the argument you have maybe the best receiver in the league, one of the best receivers in the league in CeeDee Lamb. I love CeeDee Lamb. I'm so excited to have him on the team. Gallup, you got a 77 overall guy. He's good. Um, he's star dev. He's someone we can make better. He's not really someone that I want to get rid of, but he is someone with a 16,000 XP bar that if we're talking like, let's actually talk about this logically, a 16,000 XP bar, even if I get him superstar, What's that gonna look like? Um, Turpin, the three-year guy out of TCU, they have a stacked amount, they have a ridiculous amount of receivers, but I think Brandon Cooks and Lamb um, and Gallup are obviously my top three. Gallup is contract-wise, he's not really someone we can get rid of because we're paying him $15 million a year. So probably Lamb, Gallup, and then potentially Cooks could be someone I trade or I just cut and try and get a little bit younger because he does need to be paid next year. Jake Ferguson, uh, we have an 81 overall, 25 year old star dev guy. This is a tight end we can build around. He's a beast, he's 6'5", he runs pretty well. I really like Jake Ferguson. Um, and then they have Luke, I honestly, I don't know. I really, really, really don't know how to pronounce his last name out of Michigan. I wish I did, I just don't. Um, Tyrone Smith, who we now, have back, we're not losing our tackle. Tyler Smith, we're losing Badiaz, and then Terrence. So the reason I felt like losing Tyrone Smith would be huge is we don't have like a crazy other tackle. Demarcus Lawrence, um, after the season that he just had for the Cowboys, he's now only superstar dev. He's somebody also, long-term plans, we're looking at a 32-year-old guy. He's 32 years old, he has one more year left on his deal. He's probably gonna play this year for us and you won't see him again. Parsons needs to be paid about as much money as we have in the entire, like Jerry is going to have to give every dollar that he has for Micah Parsons. Um, DB wise, we'll talk a little bit about DBs. Darren Bland going into his, um, he's a beast, 88 overall guy, 90 speed. He is an award winner, he's a stud, he has a ridiculous amount of picks. I'd love to make him a superstar and make him kind of a cornerstone, but that doesn't have to happen year one because like I said, we brought Gilmore back for one more season because I do feel like it's worth it and we need the depth of that position. Safety's definitely a spot that we could need help with also. Okay, so as far as big time decisions that we're making, obviously getting rid of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott's gonna be a free agent. Bringing back Tyrone Smith and deciding to get rid of, and like if he's in free agency and he's, I would be willing to do it, but I can't justify a fifth year option for the guy. Like I just don't, like a $27.3 million signing bonus for a 65 overall quarterback, he's gonna go. We're gonna go to free agency. We're gonna talk about the draft. 
I don't have much to spend in free agency and you, you won't probably see me spend a dime in free agency. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is like going to the Nike store and you know you're not getting anything. It's January, Christmas just happened and your mom says, you can look, but you just got all your Christmas gifts. This is what this is like. Um, you got Austin Eckler. Now, there is the one position that I wanna look at is QB, but the issue with QB, and I'll say this a hundred times over, these top ones are so freaking expensive. Like, so expensive. Part of me wants to draft I don't know if at the pick that we have, I'm gonna be able to get the QB that I want. I think to talk about this in detail and to actually give you guys a good idea of what I'm thinking right now, um, I have to go to the draft and talk about this. I think Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels are one, two, three. None of them are there. JJ McCarthy might be there at like pick 20. Penix, Bonix, it's a good QB draft. But my question is like, it's also a good draft in general. Marv, Romo Dunzi, Amika Agbuka. I know that there's players in this draft that can be huge for us. So I have a little bit of difficulty taking a quarterback at that position when I know I could get players that could help us a ton in the long run. Obviously Marvin Harrison Jr. is not gonna be there, but if we're looking for a second receiver, like I could see Agbuka being there. I could see Brian Thomas being there. Like Rome probably isn't there. There's Brock Bowers, there's Tackles, Olu Fashanu and Joe Alt are both there, studs. If either of those are there at pick 20, you have to take them. Get a new tackle, bring them in. Like, I think this draft has is deep enough at QB where like in the second round or the third round, I could probably get somebody to come in and rather than using my first round pick on it and like kind of hurting the rebuild a little bit. When you use your first round pick on a quarterback, you are pretty much saying like, hey, I'm telling the world that there isn't another position that I think is more valuable at that spot. And to reach on a Bo Nix worries me. There's good DBs, we could create a really good DB crew. Um, Demarcus Lawrence, we're gonna lose. So like if a Dallas Turner or one of these guys, a Jared versus there, it would be really difficult for me not to look at them and be intrigued by that pick. As far as free agency going back, I no longer have Trey Lance. So now that Trey Lance is in free agency, I imagine, I don't think a lot of people are really gonna be looking for him. Where are you, Trey Lance? He, I, no, no, he's on the team. No, he stays on the team. He just doesn't have a fifth year option. So we still have Trey Lance as an option, a very viable one year option for us. Whether or not I wanna do that, that's a good question because I already used Trey Lance in another franchise, but it's definitely there to talk about Tony Pollard's gonna get some money um, in free agency. Dak Prescott, you can see he already has two bids. He's gonna find a new home. With 15 million, I would say the only position that I would really like to try and get is maybe a better user, someone I can run around with. A Mike Edwards I really like. Brandon Jones is kind of a beast, but that's kind of the only thing. Darnell Savage has three. Rudy Ford, I would take like a a Bubba Bolden, honestly, 24 years old, 63 overall, 900K. That, that's about what we can afford. I'm gonna offer Bubba Bolden the contract and then let's see if there's anything else that I'm really interested in. Even like a Nolan Turner, Jonathan Abram actually. As a one year guy, might be a user, I don't know. Those are gonna be my only contracts because I'm just, I'm not in a money spending position right now. So free agency is gonna be a little bit boring, but I'm really curious to see where Prescott goes. That's, if he goes like in division, that would be really cool. Okay, I wanna see, oh, nobody, he didn't sign. That's so interesting. Prescott, like Prescott wants 50 million a year. Two people interested and he didn't sign. Josh Allen moves, Pollard's gonna be on the Texans it looks like. Um, but that's really interesting. Now he's got three offers. This is gonna, I'm very curious to see how this all plays out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, round one, pick one. This is actually Mr. Retro on YouTube. So if you guys wanna see the journey, I'm almost certain he's about to take Caleb. Who got, the big question I have is who got Prescott? Who am I gonna have to see? The Rams. They're moving on. Stafford is, 
weirdly not good enough in this game though. They they like Stafford. They have seven. Dak is gonna have Nakua and Cup. That's interesting. That's actually really 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 interesting. Okay, so number one, Caleb Williams. Taylor is uh, TSAP on YouTube. He's doing a franchise with the Patriots. I'm guessing he's gonna take Marvin Harrison Jr. Oof. That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. So we pick at 24. We'll, we'll see as we get there. You can see already the first two quarterbacks are gone. The only one that I would say I would has the value at this spot would be a Jaden Daniels. I think someone like JJ McCarthy, we may be able to grab in round two. Um, same with a Penix Jr., a Bo Nix. These are guys who we could grab that may not be our total future, but might just be kind of, might play a little bit this year and then we can kind of see what happens um, as we go. You got guys like Joe Milton, who are just like ridiculously raw QB prospects who run insanely well. With this first pick, um, it's gonna depend a lot. I'd like to build up the defense, obviously. I think our line is gonna need work in the future. Um, the line, like James Williams is a really fun prospect. If he's six foot four, um, he runs a four or five. Like there's, there's good players at safety. There's good DBs, there's good outside linebackers. Cooper DeJean's good, Kool-Aid McKinstry is really good. It's just gonna depend on what's there when we get there. I think a priority of mine like both of these guys are still on the board. A big priority of mine is to help this O-line stay really good. So like if Olu Fashanu's there, top five projected lineman, that to me is the easiest pick I could make. Um, I have one more year with Smith and my right tackle situation is quite bad. So that could be someone that we take. Same with a Dallas Turner. Imagine a world with Dallas Turner and Micah Parsons working together that would be beautiful. It would be absolutely beautiful. Um, JJ McCarthy out of Michigan. He's a good player too. Four, he actually runs quite well. We'll see. We'll see who's there. I don't know who I'm taking at this point. We'll see. Okay, guys, we're currently three picks. We're three picks away. Um, and Olu Fashanu is still there. Um, which really has me thinking a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about what I'm going to do in this spot. Egbuka is still there as well. Um, they don't have him quite great. I would say the receiver part of this isn't looking unreal. Oh, JT, to, uh, A power moves, B finesse, fastest defensive end. I think we could have a stud defensive end if he's there. But if Houston doesn't take Olu Fashanu, I'm gonna take Olu Fashanu. Um, you don't, I, you have to think long-term in these and if he's there, I'm taking him 100%. I, I think he's worth it. I think he's a beast. If not, I might go JT um, and just create the greatest defensive line of all time and go from there. How on earth did my camera just die? See, yeah, more important than like QB at this spot, QB, there's Carson Beck, Rattler, but to me, I'm taking the best player on the board. I think this is a huge fall. I am taking Olu Fashanu with our first pick, six foot six. Why is this draft class messed up? Oh my gosh. I, I'm mad about the player models. The player models are messed up. They'll, they'll be fixed after the draft, but the player models are going through a thing where they're glitching like crazy. But this is an easy pick for me. Olu Fashanu falls to us. Someone who can mentor under Tyrone Smith. And I think that's a huge, 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 huge fall. A, project, a projected top 10 guy with A lead block, A pass block, B impact, B awareness. We get at 24. I'm never going to say no to that. We need to rebuild the right side of our line. And then after this year, Tyrone Smith is going to be gone. The line is such an important part of the team. I'm super pumped to get Olu Fashanu at this spot. Then the second round, we can look into some other positions, but I'm happy with that. Okay, round number two, Barrett Carter, Josh Newton, Cameron Kitchens, Samil Mondin. Um, there's talent here for sure. Blake Corum is there. I've already used him in a franchise. Braylon Allen's there. There's still a ton of value at, um, at the running back position. Raheem Sanders is kind of an interesting one out of Arkansas. 
Trey Benson is a really interesting prospect just from a the, the thing I like about Raheem Sanders, Braylon Allen's another one. I've, I've used him in a different franchise, but he's so good. Um, oh, gosh. Jalen Polk out of 448 for Polk. See, when I look at these receivers, um, this is the best way to kind of go through them. I don't necessarily know that receiver, there is a ridiculous amount of depth right now. Um, I think most of these guys will be there like the next round and the round after. Qu quarterback wise, Spencer Rattler's there. Jordan Travis is here out of Florida State. There, there's some players, but I don't think any of them are going anywhere, which is why I'm like very much, man. The, as shocking as this is, my favorite prospect on the board as of right now is a left tackle. Um, and he just went, so no longer. Tavondre Sweat, if we're just looking at the top of the board here, Duke Ororo. I don't like his, oh wow, he's fast. I don't love his awareness stats, but defensive tackle is a position that I'm just worried about his awareness, but a 467 elite speed and elite excel at 64288 is is very intriguing. And then you have a guy like Tavondre Sweat who better power moves but runs way worse. It's kind of a difficult decision to make. What about looking for the next? Ooh, he's in very interesting, but he looks more coverage. He's a run stopper. Jonah Ellis, 6246. There is some value actually at these left end and right end positions. I like this guy actually a lot. Whoa! Okay, I'm happy with that. I, I don't know. He went to Florida. Um, 84 speed, 87 Excel. It said his pass rush moves, his play rec, his power moves, and finesse moves are all A. This is somebody, I look at him as a Dex, uh, the next Lawrence. Um, if we're trying to replace him because he is going to get ridiculously expensive, I think he's somebody who could definitely replace him 84 speeds really good and if his if those stats are as good as they say they are that could be really 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 fun to use like i said his stats really really remind me of demarcus lawrence like just kind of looking 82 speed you see what i mean like i think he could kind of be the next man up there sam williams is another one who i maybe haven't talked about enough but this guy's a really good speed rusher that we have just on our bench Defensive tackle wise, I almost took one. Um, but Mazzy Smith was their first pick last year out of Michigan. And I think I'd kind of like to stick with him. So I'm happy to more go on outside. I don't know how much he plays year one. It depends how good he is, but I'm not mad about that pick whatsoever. I want to make that known. I think that was a pretty good pick. Round three is when you may see us start looking receiver. Uh, quarterback but through two picks I think we got two kind of cornerstone future guys okay I'm in between the thing that worries me about Josh Proctor is he is fast but he, he's a day three guy out of Ohio State that that worries me but it is a position that the Cowboys are bad at um, it's just there's a lot of value right here like line wise I feel like I could set my line up good for the next like three seasons with another pick here and not have to like Tyler Guyton I look at him you got a guy who's six foot seven a run block a pass block b pass block like I look at some of these guys who have fallen and I'm like dang how do I not take a chance on like next year I don't know if you're getting a Tyler Guyton in the third round out of Oklahoma him and Jack Nelson both I could play and then I could look to like kind of pass the, the thing about Jack Nelson, he has A awareness. I think that's what intrigues me more about him. I think his overall will be better, even though his pass block is a little bit worse. Both of them I think are incredibly high value. 6'5, 323 pounds out of Wisconsin. We're gonna continue to build the line. That's all right. He's not hidden, which is fine. Um, but he's six foot five, 332 pounds. 
And I think he fell. When you, in these third round picks, I like to me, that's value. I get A awareness, I get B run block, and a guy who will probably be our future um, once we do lose. Tackles are so important, especially as we bring in a rookie quarterback. Jack Nelson, happy with that pick out of Wisconsin. I'm hoping his overall is good because he did have A awareness. Okay, so I realized we don't have a single other pick. Um, in this draft, so I'm trying. I negotiated with the Cardinals. He gets my third next year. I get his fourth. Um, so we're trading back in, and this is, as you guys would probably expect, this is where I'm looking to take a QB, and I am gonna take a chance. On somebody who I think fell, I don't know if he starts this year, and I, I can't really look at you and say that he is the future and lie. I don't know. I, I really don't. But the fact that he's there does struggling to not take him, if that makes any sense to you guys. Like, I think it adds a QB battle that his awareness is horrible, but you never know. Like, at one point, this guy was one of the most, like, talked about guys in the entire NFL. So I'm 100% I'm cool with this. I don't know if he starts this year, but it's worth looking into. It's worth drafting a quarterback here and just seeing what we get. So I am going to take Spencer Rattler, um, 76 speed, 82 acceleration, 93 throw power in the fourth round. F awareness. I'm expecting his overall to be seven, maybe eight, uh, but an intriguing prospect that we can look at now that we don't really have a true quarterback. That's gonna be it for our draft. Okay, <sighs> moment of truth. How did we do? Olufus, <laughs> stud, absolute stud, good. Hey, love these first three picks. Jack Nelson, right tackle, I love that pick. In the third round, a 72 overall left tackle is great. Princely has great stats, as I expected. 84 speed, great finesse moves. He's probably gonna get time on the field. And then first round pick, Olu Fashanu. Six foot six, look at him. He's how we got him at 22. I think that was a total fall. Wow, I like this running back, actually, that we got late out of Georgia. 5'10 out of Georgia, 87 speed. So obviously because of the draft class glitch, we gotta go edit these dudes. We gotta edit them. Um, oh, Spencer Rattler. 22 years old, 93, horrible awareness, but not a very big XP bar, and I'm, I'm considering starting him. I don't know. I'm considering. Like I said, now we go edit these players so they look uh, how they actually look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! The editing is done. Like I said, every rookie, this is Spencer Rattler. Um, we're going to talk about our QB situation. I don't, like, I don't hate his stats. The throw power is kind of intriguing to me. We'll talk about him in a minute, and he's cheaper. Like, Trey Lance, if I hadn't have just had him in another franchise, I definitely would think to go that um, direction. The number one running back I have is actually a running back, a rookie, but you guys already know the running back that I am planning on kind of building around is, is Deuce Vaughn. Five foot eight, absolutely love him. Uh, and then let's talk tackles. Tackles are difficult because of like, so you try and make them look as big as possible, but Olu Fashanu, where I got him, I think this is the biggest steal ever. Absolutely love that Olu Fashanu pick uh, and love the Jack Nelson pick as well. Jack Nelson means that I probably don't have to draft a tackle and he's gonna start somewhere. Um, defensive end, Princely. Um, I like him just 22 years old out of Florida, 84 speed, 87 acceleration. I gotta figure out where exactly I'm gonna play him. Uh, but those are the rookies that we have. We will do an official kind of depth chart as we go but right now the only thing that i kind of want to talk about is my focus players that i have and i think i'm going to switch i want vaughn to be a focus player like i said i'm super pumped up to run the ball with him princely is normal jack nelson i don't know if i'm gonna pro I'm, I'm so i might trade lance we'll see or let's let's actually i'm up for a qb battle like, the thing, I have used Lance before, but, like, I do think he should get a chance. You know what I mean? Like, I do think that chance is so deserved. 
So it's super tricky to know what to do. We also have Rattler. As I said, we'll see you guys week number one. Okay, week number one, Let, let's talk. I did a little uh, poll um, and I asked how, oh, I just don't know. I, I, I feel like both, I have a franchise two ago that Lance is the main guy. Um, so it's just like, it's difficult for me to go Lance because that is the direction that I just was. He has 32 awareness. I really don't know what to do. Um, the only reason I wouldn't play him is kind of for that reason, but then maybe I do leverage him for a pick next year. I I don't know. I can't look at you in the eyes and say that I am 100% confident in Spencer Rattler, but I think there is a chance that Spencer Rattler could be an interesting player on the team. CeeDee Lamb's obviously receiver number one. I'm sticking with my three receivers. I'm not messing with that. Jake Ferguson, now this is where it gets interesting. Um, really quite interesting. Tyler Smith is a beast. Th we really are bad um, at center. So what I was thinking of doing was taking my left guard and playing my new guy, Jack Nelson, and then taking um, Smith, Tyler Smith, who's a beast, moving him in, Zach Martin and Olu Fashanu. Olu was just the biggest steal of all time. And I think our run game for Vaughn is gonna have opportunities. Lawrence obviously starts with Micah Parsons. Mozzie Smith, Smith is gonna be, yeah, he definitely has to be there, which we, initially you're not gonna see a ton of the other guy. Uh, this is where it's interesting. I want Bland on the left because I'm most concerned with Bland getting abilities. Gilly Lock's gonna play on that side. And then we gotta potentially even sign some new players. Malik Hooker is gonna play um, top right, top left. I'm cool with Donovan Wilson for year one. And then ring the bell, I like. He is a linebacker, which is just so annoying. I gotta find out, make sure that they actually play him there. Oh, Jonathan Abram probably becomes my user. It's not an ideal user because we're not really gaining a lot from it. And the Gilly Lock, I'm gonna put him at that position. Now, now let's talk devs. And as we talk devs, bro, I don't know what to do. I am so fifth. Like, is Rattler gonna be our guy? Like, let's just really look at this. Am I giving this kid a chance? Oh my gosh. I have no idea what to do. I have no sweet clue what to do. Okay, CD Lamb's abilities. Um, he has two upgrades, which is awesome. He's gonna go up to like a 98 uh, overall. He's super fun to watch. I really like watching CD Lamb play. Um, and he just got plus one speed. So he's gonna have short in. I'm gonna have to go because we no longer have route apprentice through Prescott. I'm gonna have to go route apprentice, matchup nightmare, and grab and go. He's gotta be a beast for us. Or if I can honestly get a base. Every single time he gets the ball, you gotta make big plays. Just saying. Our line is one of the best in the league because of our decision to save money and keep him. I'm gonna go threat detector, secure protector, and post up for Smith. I think that's a really, really good combo. And then we also have Zach Martin. Now the reason, the other reason we're starting to kind of think about the future at line, you gotta look at Zach Martin's age and you can't look at his age and tell me that that doesn't concern you maybe even like just a little bit in terms of the future. Like it's such a key part of this team and he's 33 and he's 33. Right tackle, obviously now we have abilities on the D-line as well. Lawrence, who we're gonna talk about money reasons. He gets edge threat. Um, I believe he gets inside stuff. Yeah, or run committed, I'm not as interested in. I'm more in, in, interested in inside stuff. What I might do is put him more in the middle and have Parsons and this rookie kind of, I, I really want to, I have a difficult time not having this rookie on the field. If that makes any sense. Like I just struggle with the fact that that rookie wouldn't be out there. If that makes any sense. Because I just think he's kind of good. So maybe I put, oh, maybe Mazzy Smith doesn't play as much and I switch that. I don't know at this point. Um, Trayvon Diggs, stud. I can put, I'm gonna put knockout abilities on Trayvon Diggs. 
I want him to be like more of a bit of a zone corner, I think is kind of the way I'm picturing him. The ghillie lock we brought back for another dance. Did not want to see him go to free agency. Flat zone KO. Um, inside stuff as well. Pick artist, all those different things. Malik Cooker and Donovan Wilson. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the superstar devs. I Let's go into practice mode just briefly and let's talk about the Rattler thing. What is the pros to, Rattler's awareness is better and he actually throw, it would be a cool story, but, but like Rattler can also just be a one year guy and maybe next year we draft a quarterback. If he doesn't end up being anything, we can still draft a QB next year. I just didn't see the quarterbacks in this one as well. I could trade a Demarcus Lawrence or something for somebody and then we can try and upgrade that as well. I don't know what to do. Oh gosh. Okay, let's go look at Spencer Rattler in game, in practice, and just see what he looks like. So weird to see someone other than Oh man, CD Lamb, so good. Okay. What I'm kind of looking for here. Like I said, he does. Oh, I, I quite like his release actually. A 93 throw power, like the intangibles are there. His awareness is low, but it's 20 points higher than Trey Lance. And I learned in my other league that Trey Lance, like, takes ages to upgrade. The defense is playing really well. I think I'm gonna go with Rattler. I'm gonna give Rattler a chance. It's gonna be a bit of a tough season, but we have the line to block. So where hopefully we have a really good run game. Like he should have a lot of time. We get we have an elite line with him. I just made the decision. Boom. Look at this combination of food. This is like the funniest lunch ever. Salad and eggs. Isn't that the funniest combination of food you've ever seen? I like it's delicious, but like super fun. Funny combination. Uh, Maddie made lunch today, and I was just like, I, I saw it. And I was like, that is the weirdest combo of food I've ever seen in my life. Prince is gonna get an upgrade. He's gonna go up to the 74. I'm almost ready to stop talking. But last thing I want to say, Vaughn. Vaughn, a five-six running back, fits my system, like the way I play, so perfectly. I love juking. I like spin moves. I like kind of hiding. I am incredibly pumped to kind of use him. Trey Lance. Honestly, if it wasn't for that other league, he would automatically be my starter. I just have too much content with Trey Lance. And I feel like those of you who watch a lot of the videos, I have to kind of cater to that because I know you just watched me do three seasons in a row with Trey Lance. Guys, hey, the Spencer Rattler experience starts right now. Yo, first play of the season. Oh, gosh. Say hello to freaking wow holy moly okay good play as i said i want to rely on the o line a bit to make sure that the offensive line is like something that i feel like we can use to our advantage like some uh, is a group on this team that can totally carry us so i kind of want to make sure that i don't put spencer in these horrible situations early if that if that makes sense was I over the line? I shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Momentum wise, I'm going for it. This is going to determine the whole season. This is going to determine the entire season. Let's just, if we get this, can't have our first drive in the franchise be just a dumpster fire. Got him. Laser. Spencer Rattler. Let's go, man. Good throw, kid. Man, oh man, that was a step up. Laser, you notice like the 93 throw power is nice. Get out of there, Vaughn. Get out of there, Vaughn. Yeah, get out of there, Vaughn. Well done. There it is. First big run of the year. Three rushes, 16 yards for Vaughn. Well done. That's a penalty too. Good throw, Spence. Good throw, Spencer! Oh my gosh! Decline, decline. Okay. First drive. As you're seeing right now, this is kind of a Brock Purdy situation in my mind. You have this good of an offensive line. Like, your O-line is this talented. You can carry a quarterback. Like, the talent is here. 
Awesome. We saved a lot of money and our defense is elite. I love this. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I got the rookie on that one side, Parsons on the other side. That's kind of what I like. I like the idea of having the rookie at least see, like, Lawrence can be a really good outside rusher, but he's also a good defensive tackle. So that allows me to, like, with a defensive line like this, like, my second round pick is going to have opportunities to, like, get really good one-on-one -on -one type situations. Because they, you almost have to double-team Parsons every single play, which is going to allow him to have... Better chances is essentially what I'm saying. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, we got Drake May over here. Drake May is. And one coming up. Out of the gun, they give Yep, Micah. Good job, Micah. It's close. Back to throw now on first down. Shoot. Darren Bland. Bland's gonna play on the left. And I like that. They're gonna look to throw. Flush to his right. Nope, he's short. Yeah, Lawrence, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Good job. Now a shotgun snap. Yep. You good, bro? You, you'd let me know if you weren't good, right? Welcome to the NFL, Drake May. Welcome to the NFL, kid, and welcome to the division. Four teams at. Ah, uh, that's not good. May is actually looking quite good at the moment. Look at Bland and Gilmore. Yeah, Gilmore is getting a little bit freaking... Oh. Oh. Good coverage. That's why I have the man on man abilities on him, because I feel like he needs help more in man than the other guys. Shoot. No way. Oh my gosh. The dumbest glitch in the game that I, I hate so much. It'll like force you to take a knee at the one. Drives me completely and totally crazy, but... Good run, Vaughn. If they hurry, we'll see. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That one down the Yo. Field for Ferguson. Oh, <laughs> taken it in. It's complete. Look at the big man. Bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Good play by Spence. Honestly, really good play. Close to being an absolute heartbreaker for this guy. But that was thrown on the money. Okay. Still in a good spot here to win this. Uh, the man on man's working, but I might mix in a bit more blitzing. Second and two. Throw to the right here, taken in by McClure. They'll look to throw again. Come here. Got him. Good job, Gilmore. He still got it. He still got it. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Crazy cut from Terry. That was phenomenal. Like right after the catch, he got out of there. Good throw. Okay, we need a good drive here. Yep, Vaughn, Vaughn, go, go, Vaughn. This is what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I have so much confidence in this kid. I really do. I almost did a franchise last year just because I wanted to like have an opportunity because. At five foot six, you can just swerve your juke moves. Everything is so quick. Love that. And we got the best O line in the league now. 21 to 14. On play action, they'll throw. Escaping the Okay, well done. But back back to the ground game, please. At some point, the defense was gonna get a big stop. It was just so happened to be right there. Okay, CD Lamb's been quiet. Let's get him the ball with an RPO. Because he has been so quiet. I, I can get evasive on him too, so every single time he catches the ball, he's gonna be able to make like a really quick juke move or spin move or something. 
uh, which I love. Look at the line. Look at the line. There it is. He's got eight for one fourteen. That's that's a good read. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it. I had nothing. I'm trying to. I had absolutely nothing. Oh gosh. That's gonna be caught downfield by McClure. Oh gosh. Trusting Mars DB's a little well that one was a DB. He had Malik on. Yeah, that was just bad. That was just bad, 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 bad. Okay. Gotta run the ball and end this. He he did a good job boxing us at the end of the last drive. So let's rely on Vaughn and this O line here. Vaughn again? Vaughn again? Really? Oh, he, he played the juice pretty well. There is ridiculous running lanes on that left side behind both those dudes. Like, there's a lot of room to run. Dot. Ferguson, stud. He's only got one time on left. He's only got one time on left. Meaning, guys, I think with that throw right there, that might just be a GG's in the chat. Opening week victory for Rattler, getting a little bit carried by this ridiculous O-line. Um, in the run game and pass game, I felt like I've had a stupid amount of time. But hey, should be 1-0, and and I'm impressed with Spencer. I really am. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get four and protect the ball. It's third and goal. Yeah. CD Lamb, laser GG's dude. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, key to victory. I don't know if I got the 300 passing. Uh, I should have realistically went the other way, but I was expecting to struggle a little bit more against the commanders um, in the run game. But the run game, the lanes were just there. All game, the lanes were there. I am gonna be using my first staff points to try and unlock. I would be shocked with a top five projection. Like, I would be completely in a, in shock if Olu um, Fashanu was not superstar, which tells me we're gonna have three superstars on our O line this year and a run game that I think if you're not scared of it yet, I think there's a chance you should be a little bit afraid of it. Uh, we'll talk more in week three about contracts and stuff, but Vaughn, 12 runs, 163 yards in the first game, he was excellent. And defensively, we little bit struggled, but Hey, we did get interception and a fumble. See you all week two. Merry freaking Christmas! Dude, oh my gosh. Shut up. Two touchdowns or 100 yards receiving, we can get him up to start dev. Boom, just like that. Star dev, week number two. If you watched, like, why I prioritized the line and not Dak Prescott is because if you watch the left side of the line, Smith just literally was pushing everybody back like it was nothing the room we had it wasn't even a heavy juke game it wasn't a game where i was having to just make all these people miss and do all these incredible things it was quite the opposite of that it was a really simple game plan add the fact that we got olu fashanu a 78 overall rookie who is an absolute beast i just it's unreal i love it uh, i'm going to continue to upgrade the elusive of vaughn if we could get him to star dev though Everything just gets so much better. He's only 22 years old. Star dev this early. You're looking at somebody who can really make an early difference. And I love that. Spencer Rattler as well. I thought his game was really good. 93 throw power. Obviously not a high overall. He gets another throw power. We're now looking at 94 throw power for the kid. I think he can command this team and win some games for us. Week two, let's go. Okay, let's run behind Smith. They start the drive with Vaughn. This isn't the best team to get a hundred. You know what? That's five. It's not. This isn't the best team to get a hundred rushing against, just D line wise. You got Bosa and Chase Young, one of which is already activated. But right now he's in man on man. So if I roll out a little bit to the left, if I roll out a little bit to the right, I might be able to throw back to Vaughn for a really big gain, and I could have. That would have been it. They'll set up to throw. Yeah, nice catch. Nice catch, Vaughn. Vaughn on 
Go, 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 go. Get out of there. What is he at? That's two for 26, but also a catch. So he also has a really big catch. Smith, Smith and the rookie that I drafted. I love, I love that on the left side. I'm going to have to make a clean throw here in the pocket. I like that, actually. Ferguson's, like, not the fastest, but he's been really elusive after the catch. I like that throw a lot. I like that throw a lot, actually. Everything about that. Spot-wise, Brandon Cooks, I like that a lot. I'm, just, I'm worried about Vaughn. I wonder if he won't play the run as much because I'm so tired. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. I think I'm going to go for the 100 yards and omit that part of the goal. And just make sure that I get 100 yards with him. Go, Spence! <laughs> that was that was slow motion. Hey, kind of the is he the do have we found the new face of the Cowboys? I don't know. Through a couple games, he's pretty good. Micah, there we go. Oh, that was way worse than I expected. Unfortunately, from the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Ah, good throw. Here's Purdy. That's Sammy mm. before giving up any more yardage. On second down, McCaffrey. Back to throw, Purdy. Bland, Bland. Good job, Bland. Good job, good job, good job. Purdy on fourth down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Good throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in back over the middle, and it's intercepted. Purdy. He's going to let it go again. He mm, doesn't have it. I think he's got to take three. Here. That, the scary thing is that was very much open. Like, that was definitely not good coverage by me. It's facing fourth down. Now Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Okay, red zone, we need something here. Red zone, we need something. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Okay. Give a little bit tested here early. Shoot. Here's a second and seven. Flushed out right. It's a good throw. It's a good throw. I do need the hundred though. Like more than winning is incredibly important. It's the stats of us winning has, has gone down a lot. But I think I if I lose, I better make sure that Vaughn at least goes up to star dev. This is kind of the new regime here, so it's like I I need him to go up to star. Back to throw again. Go. Go, Vaughn. Good job. Clutch throw, actually. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Dot. Go, 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 Vaughn. There we go. He's got 41. I'd say he's close to 59 in the passing game. I almost want to pause and see because then I wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. I almost feel like I need to pause and see what he's at. Okay, what, what is he at? If he's at 100... 39 and 49. He's 10 short. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta go for this. I gotta go for this. Unfortunately, I do. I can't let him clock it and me not get the breakout. He's like 12 yards short of getting it. Dang, dude. This isn't great. This almost has to go to him. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. Or I can go to Spence. Good job, Spencer. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That should be twelve. Got a man and he 
Come on. Good job, Vaughn. Good job. Good job. That that was 10 yards. Okay, that's negative yards. That's negative yards. That's negative yards. That's negative yards. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, take the touchdown. If I don't have it, I don't have it. And I don't think I have it. Unfortunately, I just don't think I have it. Okay, we, we do have three timeouts. Which is important in this situation. Oh, wow. That's Debo. Debo's going to make that play. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. He's short. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. I thought, I thought I had a better, I would have had a better chance to stop it by not going out for the slot. I think it may have been better if I did. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And them to three to keep this a one score game. They'll roll him out right. Touch grass, kid. That was a great opportunity, actually. It, oh, did he come out in it? Watch this. You're a loser. I'm a loser. You're a loser. I'm a loser. Offside all day long. Going offside there stops. Doesn't stop. The clock. Okay, we're gonna have what eight seconds? Two plays maybe. The nice thing is he'll be in three deep. So I can probably get an angle right from. I don't know. That's fine. Okay, we lose, but and not to say that I, like that I was intending on losing that at the end. I could have done a hail mary, but. It, I, the, the damage was done already, but with that, he gets 75 yards plus 36, and he becomes star death, which he's our kind of new franchise running back. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I feel like I have in Vaughn. So I feel like I kind of need to prioritize that. Oh, goodness gracious. Got the Steelers next week, and then the Eagles. There's a lot of tough outs coming out here. As far as Spencer... Um, as far as, this is good, and I get 10,000 XP. As far as Rattler, I look at him as like, okay, good, nothing insane yet, but overall pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy with the results. And here, I'm about to get plus two um, for Vaughn up to a 74 overall. That should be 90 change of direction for him. Speed's the one that I think I feel like we're missing with him. Uh, he's only 89 speed, but that 90 change of direction is quite interesting. And he has a bit of a lack of trucking, but I do think he can be, kind of become our next back. Tough L, week number two. We'll have to bounce back week number three here uh, against the And week three, we get to talk about contracts, which is always fun. Okay, let's talk contracts. We also got a really tough out of the series. See how much money that we have as of right now on this team. Um, a lot of people to sign, obviously. Um, Tyler Smith, we gotta accept his option. But first person that we now have the ability to sign is none other than C.D. Lamb. I'm going to offer him a player friendly. Oh, the other one is a one year deal. I This one, I gotta wait until the off season to see Demarcus Lawrence, he wants two years, 26 million. Like there's some expensive dudes on this team. Tyrone Smith, like there's a lot to talk about over that. There is a lot to talk about, won't even lie. But week number three, um, going up against the Blitzburg Steelers. Kenny Pickett, we're gonna try and blitz Kenny Pickett, get to him, make him a little bit uncomfortable. Hope that that helps and hope that we can kind of win in that way. I'm considering changing the abilities up on just like Diggs, especially. Honestly, maybe Parsons. I haven't had a sack with Parsons in two games, so it's like I'm clearly doing something wrong because like he's Micah Parsons, so it's kind of a me thing. But overall, big time game week three, let's go. 
Go Vaughn. Yeah, he's got. Oh no! Where did? Where on earth did Porter Jr. come from? Shoot! Another good run. Where was that last game when I was just sweating? But I guess this team they have a really good right side of their line, but it's not dispersed. So like I'm just gonna run to the left as much as I possibly can with Vaughn. Um, and I don't think it's a horrible strategy. On first down, they Shoot. go back. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that's complete to Cooks. Cooks, you're good. You're good for that, Cooks. You're very, very, very good for that. The Steelers' home field is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Like, easily. Rattler. Oh, good throw, Spence. They're able to convert on third down. The Steelers' home field advantage essentially allows you to, you like, in the simplest terms, you can't audible with it. So it's like you're not able at all to make a single audible. I'm going to try and just confuse him and hope that he run commits. They'll set up a throw. Flush to his right. Gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Yep. Oh, the hops! Judy Hopps, name the movie. Name it. And I'm gonna answer it today. Name it. Zootopia. Seven zero. Little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. Looking for Austin intercepted. Go home, Bolden. Can you please go home, Bolden? Let I don't love Vaughn as a power goal line back. I like him as like a receiving back. I like a lot of things about him. As a power back, he's not my favorite, but that's tough. Though. That's tough. That's actually that's that's a weak awareness move. That is a weak, 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 weak awareness move right there. Yikes. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. He's got at the 49 yard line. Again, it's Johnson. First and 10. Here's Pickett. For the catch made by Johnson. Right goes Johnson. I got that. I got that. That's a user play, everybody. Good user play. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Nope. Nope. Good defense, guys. I would be willing to bet he's going to go for this. I'm going to give him the five if he wants and just try and make sure to take away the, the touchdown. He probably wants to throw this ball in the middle. Here's Pickett. one over the middle. Right there. That's to his run. Pickett now to throw off the play fake. Quick hitter here. He's short. <sighs> Harris. He is into the end zone. That's a good play call. Really good play call in that spot. Didn't expect it at all. If I expected it, I would have been using that guy on the outside. Dang. Okay, he gets ball at half. We got a game. Good job, Parsons. There we go. Third down and 14. That's good. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is curly well. You think they're going upfield, then they curl back. Yeah, good job, defense. We're making it difficult on him at least. At the minimum, we're making it a little bit difficult on him to score. But this isn't. I don't love this. Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen did not let him get downfield. First, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. I was waiting for that one, bud. Waiting for that one, kid. Blade of grass on this field, and they're doing it quite well. This Harris running straight ahead, and he's gonna take it in for a steal. World's longest drive. Okay, we are getting the ball back for the first time since the first drive. Um, yeah, we have not touched the ball since the first drive. With a chance, he's gotten 14 unanswered, taken a lot of the clock from us. But, hey, we're back on the field. Field goal wins it most likely. we got to play smart here. Dang, man, what a painful game. If you've been waiting all day for Sunday night, it's been worth the wait. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Escaping the pressure right. That's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Okay, my friend. I'm just one step ahead of you, though, man. I'm, I'm just... I'm one step ahead. I know you're trying that glitchy blitz. On that down and distance, I'm one step ahead of you, kid. That's GG's, fellas. Okay, run the clock down. That's a beam from Rattler when it mattered. Okay, he killed pretty much the entire game from us. So our stats are not excellent with anybody. Our stats are very, very, very bad. But at the end of the day, this should be a win. Take, take the time out here. That should be GG's. Two and one. Needed this win very badly. Got it. GG's, man. Even though, like I said, that game, we went a lot of that game without having the ball. When we did have the ball, it was really excellent. Vaughn was good in the passing game, but it, it's not a stat game for anybody. But at the end of the day, our defense is on the field the entire game, so I can't ask for really a stat game. GG's. We'll see you all week four when we play the Eagles. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Eagles. This guy always picks the Eagles because this is favorite, and it's the team itself very much suits him. Um, I'm going QB1 check and trying to get three touchdowns with Spencer. I think Spencer, like, is kind of doing what I expected. Kind of just getting us through. Winning games. I don't know if he's necessarily the next five-year QB. I don't know if I... I don't know if I can say that. Because I, I just... I don't think he is. But that's not to say that he is not somebody who, for the time being, can be really effective for us. That's kind of where I'm at with everything in time we might see him like throw for crazy amounts of yards and do all these insane things so far I haven't really seen that and it's not like he's a game breaker speed wise but his throw power is good and he's he's gonna give us a chance to win games if good breakouts happen with him they happen I'll be super happy um if they don't they don't Trey Lance gets an upgrade he's gonna go up to a 67 overall um let's go see if Trey Lance plus two awareness as you guys know, CD Lamb gets an upgrade and Princely gets an upgrade. I don't think we have a single stat with him. After this game, I want to look at our D-line and just see. I think they had a lot of good plays last week, but like stat-wise, you wouldn't have really seen anything that crazy. Play the Eagles two of the next three weeks. It's going to really, really, really make a big difference in the season how these go. It really is. How do they get better defending the pass? There we go. Good play. That's a good one. I love that. Step up in the pocket, 17 yards. O line protects unbelievably, as always. Good throw, Spencer. Yeah, you're gone. Go! Go, CD Lamb! Go, CD! Hey, you see what I mean when I drop back? I have so much time. Such a perfect system for a QB. My gosh. 7 zip. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Hurts. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Good defense. Good defense. Helps on the way. Third and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. That's a good play. I pretty much committed everybody here on. Okay, this is going to be twice a year. This is going to be a battle. Like a really good battle. CD Lamb's kind of insane. After the catch, CD Lamb is super fun. Like, you can just throw it to him in the flat super quick and you'll make a few people miss. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, that throw was too far. Ah, he was open too. 
That's what really bugs me about that whole play. He definitely was open. Shoot. Play action. Here's Hurts. Rolling to his right. On the run. He'll let this go deep. I'll see myself out. That's crazy. That's a ball. Didn't think he could throw it on the run like that. He did. That was impressive. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Go. He kind of needs. Oh, he's close. I think he's really good, but like I am struggling to get like big time touchdowns with him. There it is. Like he gets hit hard a lot. CD, CD Lamb, go. Yeah, he's out. Oh, I tried. I don't know if you guys saw me try. I tried to do the, the dead leg juke. Dead leg is if someone's like running behind you like that, the dead leg can like get you a bit of separation left to right and then you can juke in. They'll look to throw now on first down. Eluding the pressure. Right. That's a dot. I like that throw a lot. Out of the gun, it's a give to ball. Anthony else. On first down, he'll drop to throw. This one swung out to here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Good job, Vaughn. Push him. Tyro Smith, that is why we paid you, not Dak. Right there. Precisely right there. That is why we paid you. He just pushed him in. Well done. Okay. 14 up. And you saw the celebration. Pure unbridled joy after that one. Airing it out deep for Smith. Bro, that's crazy. Throwing his hurts. Mm, he's only got five. He can probably get three here, hundred percent. But the defensive coordinators, they always tell us the thirty-five yard. And that's gonna be caught for an eagle. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. But first down, hurts. Escaping the pressure right. Jalen is having an absolute freaking day against us right now. Oh, gosh. Okay, all I can do here is try and score. I can't win the game on this particular drive. That's crazy. Okay, CD, this is actually getting a little bit out of hand. <laughs> is... I'm gonna like, what? What in the world? That's how you, like... How you help our quarterback? That's a clip right there, actually. Okay, defense. All we need is one stop. That's all we need. Come here. Finally. Finally, Micah Parsons gets a little pressure on trying to get outside the pocket. We got a chance to tie this thing up. Give me those. Thank you. Thank you! User strip fumble. Okay. Money drive on me. Money drive on three. User strip fumble. <sighs> Needed that. That was a dot by him, by the way. That was a dot. I will give full credit where it's due. That's a dot. Okay, let's take this game here. Oh, man. Rattler, you got to go win this one for us. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my. Go Vaughn. No, go Vaughn. Okay, I don't want to give him any time. I have to. I've, I've seen this song before and I didn't like the ending. Oh, don't give him any time. He missed him. 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 Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. Spence. Holy, that would have been game right there. That would have been game. I had nothing open on that fourth and short. Absolutely nothing open. Huge play by him right there. Dot. That is That was bad. That's bad on me. Running to the right, this is Vaughn. 
I have to just score. And that's a mistake. That corner route that I threw is going to cost me the entire game. I just know it. I needed to just continue to run the ball. Oh, great read, but that's going to cost us. Why did I expect that? I don't know why I didn't expect that. Like I said, me scoring was the biggest mistake I could have possibly made. I have no idea why I scored in that spot. There's no reason to. I should have just waited. It's first and ten. And they'll keep leaning on the... The play action fake. They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his time. Okay, wish us luck, everybody. Dang, great game, good fight. We get to see him again in like two weeks. That's a tough L, though. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. From the right hash, this for the win. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. Dang, good game. Good game, good game. Okay, so overall, I think the performance itself was pretty good. Rattler, um, we CD going for 200 was really good, and I think I, I learned that I need to throw to him a lot more. Defense, we struggled. Tough L. See you week five. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bruh, tough game. Um, really tough game that we just played, honestly. I feel as though the talent, though, is definitely here. Um... I, I know that you could argue, like, obviously in the short term, we're going to, like, the DAC loss is going to be difficult. But I still I still think we're throwing for a lot of yards. I think the main thing that's causing me a little bit of issues right now is, truthfully, the defensive secondary. And it's making me consider changing up some abilities. And I'm going to, like, the next time I play the Eagles, I'm definitely going to make some different decisions when it comes to what abilities are where, what I'm putting in certain spots. Um, but priority number one is renegotiate. He is, it looks like he's going to be pretty stubborn about this. Um, yeah. Hey, it pays off, dude. It pays off. He was, he said no to a really good offer. He got a better offer. As far as Zach Martin, like there's two positions that I value more than anything. Offensive line is always going to be one of those positions that I give 10 out of 10 value to. So obviously I'm gonna to wanna to bring him back. DB is something we do have to get younger at, but overall I wanna get another win here. We're two and two. This is a tough division, let's get it. They'll set up a throw. Dot, dot, laser, Spencer! Good throw, Spence. That was an absolute laser over the middle of the field. Good job. So you know they just want to come out and play well for their faith. Oh, I, that, that's a good throw. So our main goal on that was actually really cool. Okay, he clearly he likes he likes sending his whole team, which is interesting. That's gotta be a touchdown gallop. That's gotta be a touchdown gallop. If you're a stud, that's a touchdown. Yep. Okay, bounce back week. Bounce back. This game really, if I go to two and three, this could get really ugly. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. Too many yards. Shoot. Good job, Micah. Oh. No hurry before you run your second down play. Diggs, Diggs, you have one job. Oh my gosh, that's your thing. You're supposed to be really good at picks. Man, oh man, shoot. Oh, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. That had to be picked. It just happened. Have you guys ever seen that? A fumble on the handle? I didn't even know. Watch that play back. I've never seen that in my life. Come here. Good job, Micah. Come on. 
That's the rookie, though. Good job. Good job by the rookie. Dude just gets depleted and holds on. There we go, Lawrence. He still got it. Nope. He doesn't have it. Great man on man defense. Great man on man defense. Okay, I think he's probably going to go for it just because he's human, but... Glenn's got to play the inside shoulder. Play the inside shoulder. Both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... Yeah, good job, Lamb. Get out of there, Lamb. They just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double digit yep. plays. Vaughn. Simple throws. He gets ball in half, so I'm rushing because we do need to score here. Like, his offense is actually pretty good. I drew, when you put together a drive like that, you clearly have some idea of what you're doing. Let's go, Ferguson. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? I saw him. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Think it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half. Vaughn, Vaughn, you are just good. That he had no business catching that. Like zero. Making that catch. I should not have thrown. He's undersized to make a catch like that. Horrible decision is what it is. Okay, I gotta make up for that RPO. Get back on defense. He can't make mistakes like I'm making though. They're brutal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Time out. I got no time out. 41. Well, let's, let's, let's take our kick right now. He didn't come out in the inside defense, so I have to do this. It's about a 50 50 chance if they come out in something like this. And he gets it. Okay, that's all right. Either way, I get to play half the field here. Try and lock him up. I don't think his offense is that special, but. Good job, Micah. That's clutch. 37. Micah, good job, Micah Parsons. Can he kick this? I, I kind of hope he goes for it in some ways. He seems like the type, doesn't he, to go for it? And he is. He's exactly the type. No, he's short. He's short. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We have not seen Good job, Lamb. They seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack. Got him again with Vaughn. Vaughn has been like pretty neutralized in the run game. Um, Hutchinson's been a big part of that, but in the passing game, I actually think we might have some room here to run. Yeah. And I was exactly right. His juke is just still too slow. You can see he can't get out of those situations how I want him to be able to get out of those situations. It's, he's just not quick enough right now, unfortunately. That's a dot. Good throw. Yes, sir. Right in between the zones. Perfectly thrown. Okay. Defense, kick this ball off and we go win this game. Make that RPO mean nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He was in a vert hook, not a flat. He was in a vert hook, not a flat. Big Gilly Raw. That is my, my friends is why I paid him. Probably I could have caught that pick, or you could have, but either way, cool to see. He's having a pretty decent season. Play action. It's gone. Somebody. If one of you like I don't think that was a great read. I'm sorry. I just don't think that was a good read. A shotgun snap for gone. Come here. Fourth down, Micah. He probably is going to take three here, which is going to give us, yeah. Gives us a chance at a few first downs to pretty well end this uh, and try and get that run game working. But I bet, I don't think Detroit doesn't have crazy DBs. If I can get a zero look, CD Lamb might be gone. Back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first Good job, Vaughn. Good run. Good run. 
Go, 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 Vaughn! Come on, one block. That helps. That's gonna help. That, my friends, is what an offensive line will get you. The blocking on that play maybe could not have been better. Okay, we're gonna take this to the two minutes. Good job. Okay, he now needs... I think he needs touchdown and change. Yeah, he needs two touchdowns pretty well at this point. Goff now looking to throw. That should be a freebie. That should definitely be a freebie. That's probably unnecessary. I'm probably getting a $25,000 fine for that. It is I should get a fine for that, but whatever. I don't feel bad. Good job, Gallup. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll find Lamb. Back to throw again. Another one to CD Lamb. He's got it. Now back to throw. Got his man. On second down, it's good job, Vaughn. Okay, GG, dude. GG. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have called about five times. I believe the Eagles user is currently at work. Um, I think he works nights and we started pretty early. So we are not going to be getting our epic rematch against the Eagles. Unfortunately, I'm sure we will see him again. Like I said, these leagues to post them every two days. In an ideal world, I could wait three hours. But I work a certain... For those of you who wonder, I pretty much work... These leagues start at about 9 a.m. my time. And we go until about 6 every day, I would say on average. Um, every day. And then I can usually not have anything to do on Sundays. But... Um, yeah, this guy's working, which means we're going to get a force one, and then we have a buy. So I'm not going to get to see you guys until week eight. How sad is that? Um, but overall, I thought we had a really good game last week. I thought there was a chance that we would get some type of uh, something for it. Spencer's been good. Vaughn has been really good. Averaging 8.5 a pop is no joke. And 272. CD Lamb's been awesome. Brandon Cooks has been awesome. Defensively, we've been a nightmare. Um... Micah Parsons doesn't have a sack yet. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But either way, guys, we're going to see you for our divisional game against the Giants. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week eight. So, let's talk about a few things. Like I said, obviously we had the force win against the Eagles. Um, we got to, oh, I think, this is where the decision needs to be made. I'm either going to be really happy in like a split second or incredibly mad. Um... Olu Fashanu, I almost have to make a business decision here though because if he does get it, what abilities would he even get? He's still really short of it. I think Olu Fashanu has to be a superstar. Just given like he was a top five pick, that's why I took an O-lineman. So I kind of am gambling a little bit here. I don't know. I don't think I have enough because I think you have to do both. Okay, we're 20xp away, and we can find out about Fashani. But overall, guys, our stats with Vaughn have been really, really, really good. I'm having a lot of fun with this team, and Rattler is like, maybe you haven't watched this being like, Rattler's the greatest quarterback I've ever seen in my life. You probably realistically haven't. But he is, like, he's there, and I think he's been fine. Like, personally, as a starter, I'm not mad at all about how he has looked. He's made a lot of good throws. I think he's got about 12 touchdowns to three interceptions or something, or 10 to three. Yeah, 10 touchdowns, three interceptions, and a 130 passer rating. He can't really run, but as far as a pocket passer, I really like him. Giants week. This is a big time game against the Giants. Let's get it. Good defense, guys. Third down. Daniels is a good option for them at QB1. I think, I think they got him in the second round. Um, I don't know who their first round pick was, but Daniels is definitely a good pick. Infield fly, got him. Good job, Malik. Okay. 
Let's go play some offense. Rattler, have a year, my friend. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure. He makes see like flashes. Like that. I'm like, okay. I'm impressed. Like, he rolls out and throws that. I am impressed. Fourth round pick. I I really liked what he just did. Get out of there, CD. Yep. Good job, Vaughn. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Good job. They'll drop to throw. Oh my gosh. Vaughn and Rattler, what a throw. I love that throw that we just made. Personally, I absolutely love that throw. Like, I highballed that. Feet inbounds, love that. Bland, Bland, see Malik got there. Bland made that play. Bland, I almost clicked on. I would have probably picked that. Up. Oh, yes. You have to be kidding me. Oh, you sometimes forget that's Jaden Daniels. Shoot. Looking to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Dang, good throw. He waited a perfect amount of time there. Here's another first and ten. Bland, bland. He's one of those people I really want to become a superstar, but man, oh man, he's getting torched. Yep. CD might be going actually. That's the thing, like those throws with C.D. Lamb can become touchdowns because of how evasive he is after the catch. Like, I get C.D. Lamb the ball on a bubble screen, who's to say that's not a touchdown? Yep. Good job, Vaughn. Time out. Okay, we kind of have to pass here. They'll set up a throw. Yeah, when in doubt, go to your best player on the team. When in doubt, red zone, I knew it was one on one. He didn't beat him immediately, but as that route developed, he got like five, six yards of separation. Laser, CD Lamb, let's go. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Vaughn. Good job, Vaughn. A give running right is Vaughn. Take it into second and four. Come here, good defense. I'm just gonna start screaming at him. He'll drop to throw. Got him. Bum bolded. Here we go on second and twelve. Oh my, that's a perfect read actually. What he just made was perfect. He'll look to throw. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. They'll look to throw here. Rolling to his right. Oh no, clip that one please. Clip that one please. That was kind of cool. Shotgun, he'll look to throw. Thought. Oh my. Good job, CD. GG's, fellas. Hey, that was a good game. Ladies and gentlemen, week nine time to shine. That last game was kind of, and I don't want to get ahead of myself in saying this, it was kind of a big time success. Uh, mainly, and like the biggest successes of the season are easily Rattler, but Vaughn. Vaughn has almost a thousand on all purpose. Well, actually he doesn't. That's horrible. Oh, I need to get back to school. That's horrible math. Bro, what is my math? What did I just say he was? Wow. Uh, the other really good thing is Spencer Rattler is first in the NFL in passer rating. 
Now, I think the reason is when you don't have like an elite QB, you're forced to kind of play a little bit of a different way. And I feel like I am playing a little bit of a different way. Olu Fushanu gets an upgrade as well. Um, I might wait till he gets 80 before I do We've Seen Enough just to make sure that that like ability slot thing pops up because that would be a big deal if he wasn't. Box week, let's go. They're gonna look to throw. That's an elite level throw. Ooh. They're gonna try and throw. Oh no, that's a beam. Spencer is kind of playing out of his mind. I like the thing is he's not necessarily the freaking quarterback that I wanted or expected, but it's the quarterback. He's the quarterback I got, and he's kind of freaking good. Come on, Vaughn. Feel very disappointing, but I'm just wondering. Is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for I didn't like that read. <sighs> Come down to, am I willing to leave him? Uh, the defense has been playing pretty good. I think I'm going to take a shot here. I've Rattler's been playing well. I'm going to take a risk. The nice thing is here, I can see all the people he's blitzing. Who's in there? Nice thing is I can see all the... With threat detector. That's why I pay, you pay your offensive line. You pay your own line and everybody else gets better around. Well done. I saw everyone was blitzing because I have threat detector. Easy throw, 7-0. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, shoot. Dang, good play. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Hit him, hit him. Next draft, I need a safety. I need a true user because holy schmoly, we struggle at the user position. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Second and six. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They'll roll him out. Oh, God. Good throw. Okay, this guy clearly knows what he's doing on offense. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're... That's pocket. That's pocket. And Cooks is a veteran who's going to catch that. Will run. And the football, right on the money. Perfect throw. Perfect throw. CD Lamb. Laser. Back to throw now on first down. Sure, I mean, it took nine weeks. Nine weeks to get his first sack. Man, oh man. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. He doesn't have it. They'll look to throw. Got him. Sorry, I'm using I couldn't be an unprofessional. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's a flag on them, too. I'm pretty sure that was P.I. Let's find that. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. Time. And on is the field goal unit. This from 44 yards away. And his... They'll try and throw for it here. You slick. Oh, he knew it. That was a good throw. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to have... On play action, they'll throw. Good job. <sighs> first down, here's White. Oh. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Yep, got him. Knockout. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. And they'll look to throw here on first down. Bland, thank you, Bland. Work the defense is done. They've got a chance here to open up this lead. Yep, CD Lamb, one on one coverage. One on one yeah. coverage just is not enough. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's a crazy dot. That's my favorite throw of the day. That's my favorite. That's in between zones. That's not a particularly easy throw to make. That was perfectly thrown. Out of the gun, it's a give to Vaughn. Good job, Vaughn. He'll look to throw. Trying 
trying to improvise. Be the you're not that fast. I'm afraid. I said it, I'm afraid. Just because Rowler, I just don't want him to fumble. I got afraid. Yeah, good job, Vaughn. GG's, dude. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Week number 10, no breakouts as of right now. Since the first, we got a great breakout right off the bat. An unbelievable breakout. And since then, Rattler has been the best QBR quarterback. Of the, maybe it's the line. You know what I mean? Like, I have felt absolutely no rush to throw the ball. I truly think we have the best line in the league. I'm going to unlock Olu Fashano. He was a top five projected player. And cross my little fingers... That dude's a superstar. Almost always a top five player is going to get superstar, which is why I could not believe he fell, even though he's a tackle. And ladies and gentlemen, Olu Fushanu, boom. The future is now. He can get mentored. Guys, unreal. So for at least a couple seasons, I'll have Tyrone Smith, Olu Fushanu, Tyler Smith, and Zach Martin. Those are the type of factors that lead to something like Spencer Rattler having such good stats. 15 touchdowns, three interceptions, and a 140 passer rating. Like, that's the type of stuff that leads to that. Like, he's been completely dialed in. I haven't made a mistake because, in all honesty, three and four man pass rushes are not getting to me um, whatsoever. I have all the time in the world. So I don't feel overly rushed or in a panic ever in the pocket, which is really cool to see and is not always the case. Whether or not this tells us, is he the guy long-term? I don't know if I can look at you and say, yes, he is automatically, clearly our, our like 10-year quarterback. I don't know if I can say that, but if we continue to play good with him, I think the possibility is there. Boom, Vaughn just got plus one speed. I've been waiting for that all season and it is about time. Okay, Jake Ferguson also gets up. Okay, we're going up against Atlanta here. Atlanta's an interesting squad. Um, very interesting squad. Young Desmond, some good players on this team. Let's get it. They held them under 200 yards of total offense. Just couldn't sustain much of anything against them. Great job showing them different looks. And That's a fun throw. Oh, Trayvon. I just, I really wish he could talk. It was close, but I just, I want that instincts from Trayvon. I really do. Ritter. Working from the gun, Ritter. Shoot. Yeah. Boom. That was you did too much. That my friends is called doing too much. It'll work. It actually will. It'll work really well. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That. Oh, you know if you watch that, that easily could have been gone. Okay, Vaughn. We've slowed down a little bit. Nothing on your part. There we go. Good run. Yeah, just make the easy throw. Look at that throw. Ah, that's tough. That's my only... He's got to get quicker jukes. That's really the only thing this far into the season that I it's bugging me is how slow is juke moving. Good job. Good throw. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's annoying because it wasn't the guy who actually... I'm frustrated because that wasn't actually the guy that was covering him. It was man on man. That guy just came off of the other guy. That was a good play. Unfortunate play for us. Yeah, I'm done. You got Bijan. Just to hope that he. Yeah, he's got ridiculous notes. Oh, gosh. Okay. That is what it is. Is what it is. Is what it is. The dot. Good job, CD. Vaughn on first and ten. Yep. Go. Good job, Vaughn. I'm noticing that 90 speed now. 
I definitely can see he's feeling like a little 89 was tough. He's feeling faster. <gasps> yep. Carry us, Vaughn. Way to go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Eluding the pressure right. I think I stepped out. Did I not? Did Gallup? That's a crazy throw, and I'm happy with the result. I I think Gallup stepped out. Look at this. He does it. Wow. Shout out to you, Michael. That is why I didn't feel like I needed a receiver. Well done, Gallup. You know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. So bland, bland, bland. That's back-to-back -back weeks with a pick. Back-to-back -back weeks with a pick. Good job, Bland. Look at the blocking from Tyrone Smith. Just look at the blocking from Smith. That is unbelievable. Second and 14. Dot. Escaping the pressure right. Dot. <laughs> yeah, good accept. Good accept. Shoot. How am I feeling today? I just, I don't know. I'm just feeling a little bit mean. Like, I'm feeling like I got to go for this. I feel like I got him. I feel like I got him, too. Yep. I hadn't ran that play all game. I haven't ran that play in ages. That play pretty much forces the user to take the cross or the dig. He took the cross. The dig was CeeDee Lamb. B. Bland. Bland? That's three. Bro, I need him, superstar. This is his best chance. That's two picks this week, one last week. If he goes to Superstar, him and Trayvon can take him over the league. He's literally an 88 overall. I need that badly. You gotta make one guy miss here, Lamb. Good job. Oh, gosh. Dot, laser, good throw. Fourth down, needed that. Absolutely needed that. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's crazy. That is crazy. Good job, Lamb. When in doubt, CD Lamb. And get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Well, this is hitters. Luckily, it doesn't count. For the third time. Back to throw again. Oh my. Did you see I waited? I threw that like one step behind the line. I threw that. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Guys, that's different. That throw right there, that's different. I don't know about you, but I don't see that every single day quarterback wise. Look at what Rattler just did. Outside the pocket. Look at this throw. Sidearm outside the pocket on the money. Brandon Cooks stud. 21-7. You gotta be kidding me. That is a throw and a half. Wow. At the 45 yard line. Ritter located his run. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. Ritter looks to throw it. Yeah, he's one of those timeouts. Ritter. Dang, good throw. Right in front of the safety. Good throw. Gosh, Cooks. Okay, Cooks can't be there. Cooks just lost his job. Okay. 
That is incredibly unfortunate. Right call by him. I'm just annoyed by it. Dude, good job, rookie. That's a great play, actually. Come on, Trayvon, end it. There we go. There it is. I don't know how many picks he's got this year, but it's not a crazy amount. I think this guy's got a dip. Unfortunately for him, he had to leave. He works. His shift starts in five minutes. Ah, shocks me. I wish we could have finished the game. GG's big time win. Stat-wise, that was another good game for Spencer Rattler. I don't think I made, I made, I guess, technically one mistake um, the entire time, but it wasn't even a horrible throw. Three touchdowns, one interception. CD has another good game. We're buzzing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got a force win against the Ravens. We're eight and two. Like, we're playing some pretty decent football. I'm gonna do kind of a defensive stat check because I've, I've shown you guys lots of our offense and how our offense is doing. But I feel as though I haven't really checked in quite as much defensively. Current stat-wise, QB-wise, 21 touchdowns to four picks. Vaughn, about 600 yards. Vaughn, 500 yards receiving. But let's talk defense because the numbers are getting a bit better, but still, Parsons has one sack. Bland is leading the team in interceptions. Gil, uh, Trayvon just got his first. Those things worry me a lot. Like, it's not great news at the moment, but it is what it is. We're gonna have to figure it out. Um, it's frustrating, but it's just for whatever reason, I'm not getting good pressure. I'm not sending like 40 people every time by any means, and I am doing a lot of man on man looks, which at times can work for you and against you, kind of depending on how it all goes. But overall, I do feel like we deserve a better faith than we've had in terms of pressure, and I definitely will stand by that. Things to be worried about through a great start. He's still only a 70 overall. Things to be worried about. But is what it is, Browns week, let's get it. The Browns are terrifying. You just, you're pretty much rule, oh my gosh. He gets caught a lot. He gets caught, but not today. Good run, Vaughn. Just as I was about to say, my biggest fear is the fact that you're going up against Miles Garrett. But hey, we were able to get the outside. Let's get it. Hmm. Malik, that's a cool animation. I'm a fan of that animation, that was cool. Bland, it's close, very close to making a play on that. And again, it's Chubb. And he gets half. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's in. Okay. Dang, good drive. Really good drive. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Ah, oh, dang, good defense. I think he manned up by running back, maybe. That was really excellent. They'll try and throw for it here. That was not good. Got caught. Got totally caught without a read. The contest. Here's Watson now on second down. Nick Chubb. Hmm. On first down, Watson flushed out right. And down. Watson. Wow. He fell into that end zone. Uh -oh. That was actually a really good play call. Whenever you come out in a run like that, clearly you know you're going to get blitzed. Not a bad idea to just throw the running back on a run. It's difficult when someone's blitzing a ton of people thinking that you're running the ball to prioritize your user staying on the running back. Hence why that was a good decision. This one, not so much. Princely was so close. 
you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Eluding the pressure right. And Watson down. Back to throw, Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he's he's cooking, man. He's cooking. Here's Watson. Got him. There it is. Go. Yeah, go Vaughn. Dude, did you see what? Oh. Okay. That is a lineman highlight. That is truly why you draft linemen. Blitzing all those people. This should be a touchdown. No way he can guard that. Yeah, I was about to say. He's blitzing all those people. There's no chance he's got one. Oh gosh. Gotta try it here. He's back. Dot. Crazy dot. That is crazy, Spencer. That was window. There was a window there, and I was throwing that no matter what. 308 left. If he comes out in a certain defense, I'm gonna onside because that would be there'd be reason to onside. This is a situation you want to either way, because he can clock you the entire time. If you kick it far, give him three if he gets it, but give yourself a 20% chance to win the game with a good onside. You might have it. You, you got it, Brett. Oh my gosh. Now Watson. Escaping the pressure right. He Crazy read. All of our chances away. Like, we still definitely have hope. I like that call a lot. That was me fumbling. Get it to somebody who I know probably won't fumble. Rather than Rattler, like, running directly at the line of scrimmage, fumbling and selling the entire game. Make a better business decision. Yeah. That's complete to Lamb. Just keeping the play alive. Dot. Oh my gosh, he's good. To the big stage, and here he is. Able to hit his target lamb. And they win a bit. I would take it to OT. Thanks for asking. I know nobody asked, but I think I would. I don't trust my two point. And Vaughn isn't the type of guy who's gonna run somebody over. Like, it's not like Corum or Braylon Allen, who I know will just run you over. No, it's just simply not the, the case with him. Seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Got on the run, laser. Okay, I'm gonna trust my defense today. Stupid as this may be, trust the defense slash the OT offense. I just don't want to like have this game decided by one two point convert. Cowboys have won the toss, baby. Give me the ball. That's why we're gonna go for it. Trust the system. Trust the team you got. Let's go. Two fifty five. Get seven. Win the game. You might honestly onside kick. Great blocking. Great blocking. Ten out of ten blocking. And Vaughn, you just. Never fail to amaze. Call game, kid. Call game, kid. CGs, clip it, please. Clip it. Kid called game. Kid called game. Oh my gosh. First off, great play. Like, stat wise, Rattler's game, very blessed. 182 on 9. 40 for the dub. Look at this cut in. This is what I'm saying. I like shorter running backs because you're and here this was just insulting but i went for the extra juke just for the dramatic effect ggs guys i am uh, i'm disappointed that we don't see breakout running back right now i gotta be honest i'm disappointed that we don't see that i think it's deserved i think especially with the game that we just played he's having a great year like he's done kind of everything that i i think he's done everything to deserve um a breakout. Olu Fushano gets an upgrade, which is awesome. Shout out to him, 80 pass protector. This guy's unbelievable. Watch, like, he has nasty streaks, so his run blocking's crazy, but watch, like, some of the other, like, he's amazing. Um, he's really good. I love that pick that I made. Vaughn, 
Early last game, guy was an absolute beast. He's almost up to an 80 overall. Star dev, and he gets another plus one speed, bringing him up to 91 speed from 89. That was needed for him. That was something that was incredibly important to me that I, my running back, like if I make a couple people miss, if the O-line creates the room needed, that we're gonna end up scoring. That's an important aspect of that position for anybody, not just me. I'm not saying that that's just like a weird me thing. Oh, I care, no. Everybody I think feels that same way, but it is nice when that happens. Um, I'm thinking of using some of these to get his like, my O-line a little bit better, vertical threat, awareness, throw power would be good. But guys, all I can say, this is this is another big game. Let's just take it one game at a time. We're get to go play Joe Burrow. They're having a bit of a tough season, but we gotta keep winning. That's pretty much all I can say. Out of the gun, it's a give to Vaughn. <sighs> On third and short, they'll try and pick it up. Is that DJ? No, that's Cam Taylor Brett, but it is what it is. It's one on one. Even though CD Lamb's not the fastest, he's the best. So CD Lamb's gonna win that all day. Dot. Crossbody. Laser. CD Lamb. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. That's not good. Bland, Bland, holy goly Bland, we just got torched kid. Dot, that's crazy. That is actually a crazy throw. I like that. Bland, there it is, Bland. Oh, he's close. I was incredibly close to breaking that, actually. Dot. That's crazy. To go in the first half. CD Lamb. Close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now it's well, it's a dot. Now Burrow on first down. Open man downfield is Chase. He's now it's Burrow. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Joe Burrow. Thank you, Joe Burrow. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Vaughn. Oh, what a stupid animation. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Dot Gallup. He's got his turn. They're gonna look to throw. He's letting it fly for cooks. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I thought I saw that the play before. That was a little bit too much risk. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Throw left. First down. Here's Burrow. Got him. 6-4. 6-4. Well done. Okay. I am not throwing the ball well against him. I'm going to go to the run game and try and ice this with Vaughn. That's good. That's going to be my action plan. I need this Vaughn. I need this and he falls forward. It's been a messy game passing wise. Couple interceptions, honestly one of which was just me being a little bit over aggressive. I thought I had Cooks. 
I really did, but that, I had no business making that throw. That's such a dot. That is such a dot. Go 40. Ice it, Vaughn. Ice it. Okay, we're probably a first down away here. They'll set up a throw. Flush to his right. Am I field goal range? I am. Shoot, good defense by my opponent. I gotta I have to take this three, unfortunately. Like kicking as of late has been so bad. Oh, okay. 17 7. So that one's CD gonna make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were playing on the other side, they'll get the ball back and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. That's right. Throwing Burrow toward the subway to the end. Here's Burrow. Caught on the slant. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked. Hard. There we go, Parsons. There we go, Micah. Fourth and goal. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away. Oh, he's going to concede. GG's. Okay, big time win. I'll take it. Not, nobody had a good stat game. Not a single player. Bland got another pick, but nobody on our team had good stats that game. But at the end of the day, a win's a win. We needed the win. We're going to New York. It's a boom, fellas. Shout out to people not showing up. Um, Spencer Rattler, four touchdowns in the force win. And we get a break. And I think it was deserved. Like, a little bit lame because it is in the CPU game, but... I still think it's deserved. We've had an unbelievable year with them. This changes things. This would change the way I would look at this entire thing. 300 yards or three touchdowns. Both very much doable. Um, gonna be a pass first type of game. Get him to star dev and then see where he's at as a star dev QB. If he's star dev, who's to say that he's not like a very decent option on this team? You know what I mean? Like you're looking at a guy who his XP bar could go way, 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 way down, like super fast. His XP bar currently is only 6,000. He's got 94 throw power, like I said, slightly undersized, but, and he just got another plus one throw power. He's got 95 throw power. The guy can throw the ball. Like there's no, nobody's questioning. Princely, I don't know about Princely. His XP bar scares me a little bit and his lack of production scared me, both, both of them our reason to be a little bit scared for Prince Lee. I think he's good, but I don't know if he's shown at all that he's great at this point. Brandon Cooks is gonna get a deep threat upgrade. Um, CD Lamb is also going to get a slot upgrade. Plus two catch in traffic, plus one short row running. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the way it's looking as of right now, going up against Drake May and the Commanders. Uh, let's go have a freaking game. Rattler's been kind of cold. 29 touchdowns, six. We almost got a thousand for Vaughn. Um, and he's got like Vaughn almost certainly in the offseason will get an upgrade. So let's get it. The issue is here, like I said, I have to play a certain way because we need to prioritize only passing. One thing that makes us good and that we're having such a good year is the balance. And right now we're not able to have that balance because of the fact that I need this breakout really bad with Rattler. Like I need to find out what, what I have in Spencer Rattler. And the only way we're going to find that out is by doing everything we can to get this breakout. I'd get rid of that. Okay, we'll go. He's got it. No, he doesn't. Right read, though. 
Here's a second and seven. Got this complete to Me not scoring on that first drive, I can't lie, that hurt our chances by a lot. That was a good read. The 10 and out was there. CeeDee Lamb ran the right route. But that was just a little bit unlucky. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. It's nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I think we don't know. Back to throw here. That is caught. Drake is kind of playing some football right now. Here's second and eight. Dang, good throw. Okay, my first priority is I'm, th I'm thinking about two things. The 300 yards and the three touchdowns. And how we are going to get to at least at minimum make sure that we get him started out by the end of this. That's my... All I'm thinking about is that. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Okay. Right, four for nine, so I'm 250 short as of this moment. If I could get 80 here, that would help out obviously a ton. I got that. Yep, Ferguson's open. Said so we're literally just having to sit back and throw dots at this point. Running game is totally out of question. Dot. Oh my gosh, that was actually perfect. He's going to keep leaving one-on-one. -on -one. Tough toenails, buddy. I'll throw it all day. Dot. Vaughn. <laughs> Ice in the veins. I'm stunning. Let's go. That's one touchdown in like, I think, 140 yards. Good drive. Needed that. Bland. Plans there. He was there. Very, very, very close to making that play. Drake May is going to be a problem for the future. I don't love that we have to play him as much as we do. Got him. Time. Come here, Micah. Time. Third and 23. Give me the ball back, please. Help me get to 200 yards. Got him. Time out, please. Okay, give me the ball back. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Ferguson. Why don't we just get a breakout with Ferguson too? Okay, you gotta get out of bounds. Or you can go for a touchdown here. Either way, just snap the ball. If he's smart, he's putting three people on Ferguson. Rattler? Oh. Yeah. This three, even though it's like it's not an aggressive move, it just probably increases my chances to get the ball back in the event of the game coming down to the end. Like, I, it does, in, it helps in some ways. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh my gosh. That, okay, let's check on Bolden's hit power. That's fine, though, because you scoring quick is everything I want. I want you to score quick because I want as many opportunities to get to 300 yards as I possibly can. So, thank you in a weird way. I hate that I have to do this. CD Lamb, you are just, you are the best. You really are the best. Oh, my gosh. What a catch. What a throw. What a result. Yeah, that this is big for the breakout, especially if I can cut in on it. Yeah, what's that going to be? That's probably two hundred, I would say. That's fine. Okay, we got like 220, we're 80 yards away. If I have to start like, for example, if I gotta start giving him touchdowns quickly, I will. I'm still gonna go onside, just time-wise. I wanna ensure that I'm gonna get a chance for the breakout. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. The risk advantages when you have them.
And field position leads you to that type of play calling in the, whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball. They'll look to throw here. That's out right here for Robbins. They'll set up to throw. Come here. Good job, Micah. That's two for him. That's two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Drake may have to think about kicking a field goal here. But not Drake in particular. They'll set up a throw. I can live with that. How many yards away am I? Oh, goodness. How I think I'm like 30 yards away, maybe. No, 60. He might onside, too, and take that all away from me if he does. Yeah. This is actually sketchy. I got to see how many passing yards we're at. He's smart to onside here. He really is. Yeah, fine with me. They'll look to throw. This one into the hands of Vaughn. And he's I want to score. No, if I don't have it, I'm, I won't have it. Do I run backwards? Vaughn, like, is, is that the moment Vaughn becomes a legend right there? Dot. Perfect. Okay. We're like literally 20 or so yards short. Score early because I need the ball back. Or get it, if I stop him and he quits, if somebody quits and you're that close, you technically get it if he doesn't let me have my drive. So either a stop or any, whatever works right now. Shut it off, let him score there. Please, it's grounding. What in the world was I doing? I thought I manned him up. I really did. It looks like he is. He clearly has a breakout too. Yo, I he's got a May breakout. Yes. He, okay, everything has led me to that conclusion. We are both playing for breakouts right now. That's why he's not running. He should have ran those plays before. He clearly has a May breakout. That's why he's doing QB draw, screens, anything, because he's trying to get May to X Factor. Because I looked at the previous game. Guys, we cracked the coat. It actually saved us. I think he I think he wants the ball back. I think he wants me to get the ball and then him to get the ball back. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. You gotta be kidding me. Try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's hard. Vaughn, you are so good. With that throw right there, I think we got him to superstar. So I'm going to run here and then spike is essentially what we're going to do. I have no timeouts. Yeah, I kind of so have to kick go. it. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. I don't love that I have to do that, but. Within shouting distance, a field goal range. But now, with the clock where it is, this is going to take something close to Okay, GG's, guys. And we got our breakout. He didn't get his. He got three touchdowns, 310. He didn't get his. Absolutely love that. Okay, with that, I think we're going to get XP. Now we start talking about things a little bit differently. Um, depending on what, like, his XP bar looks like, you have to figure we got to potentially make some different decisions based on what this is about to tell us. So we got our 300 yards. Um, we got our 300, which is great. Spencer Rattler. No XP. Like, sometimes you'll get literally 20,000. I don't understand that, but it is what it is. Okay, we're still 12 and two. We're having actually, surprising a really good year. Um, 5,000 is his new XP bar. I still don't know. I don't know. 
Do I? If I'm in the next draft and there's somebody really good, I'd consider it. But he is kind of having an insane year. GG's. Let's keep it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, playoff picture as it stands. Cardinals won. <sighs> We're the two seed. We'd have to play Justin Fields and the Bears round number one, which would be interesting. Not something that I'm like necessarily afraid of, but it's definitely like I, that one seed is, is truly everything when it comes to like actually winning Super Bowls. You give yourself a first round bye and a chance to play the weakest player who wins in the other round. That changes things. Let's talk contracts. Demarcus Lawrence, I don't know. Tyron Smith, I don't know. Gilly Lock, I don't know. There's, there kind of needs to be a new regime over around here. And money needs to be spent elsewhere, I think. I think, oh gosh. To reset, I, I would go one year deals, especially for Smith. But if Smith loses his, like, I think truly if we do decent, he retires in a heartbeat. But then I have seen 36 year old linemen and linemen don't often like regress as much. So if we get to resign and he's still there, all those decisions need to be made at resign, which is why you're not seeing me make any decisions right now. They are all, I am pushing those decisions back because I just simply don't know what to do with them. Um, I'm quite confused about it. But either way, guys, we're 12 and 2. The 49ers, as it stands, what are the 49ers? The 49ers are 12 and 2 as well. They're playing the 11 and 3 Minnesota Vikings. Let's hope they lose. And let's hope we don't lose. And let's go take the one seat. Let's go. Gray block, Smith. Gray block, yeah. 19 year old those always bug me because i'm like i actually enjoy running the ball which i know makes me a little bit weird but like i love doing mind games like this like moving people one way switching it up the other way and then just like trying to trying to find creative ways because not everybody loves running the ball and not everybody's good at it but i like to think that in every single league if i wanted to with no matter what running back i have i like to think i could lead the league in rushing like i i truly believe that yeah. Ah, uh, gone. Touchdown. Rab. Wow. <laughs> Girl, he's looking like a stud. Do I keep him? Oh my gosh. Can we? I don't know what to do. I feel like I have. I feel like I have to. Bland, push him back, go with that. Got him, Quad team. Knew, I, as soon as he moved him in, I knew it was a hook. Dude was about to do. Dot. That's two. Two for Spencer. Give me those. Give me those. That's how you get lurk, kid. Good play, Bolden. Good play. That's the worst defense I've ever seen. What is Buddy doing? Hmm. Oh, Trayvon, Trayvon, that was a snuggie. Second and long. Now this went into the hands of yep, good job. He's in cover three though, which means Ferguson will be open. Just gotta wait. Just gotta wait it out unless he uses it. Can we spike it? Cover three. Do we? Do we have a cover? Three? Oh, okay. Really, though. 
Second down, Hal back to pass. Out of the backfield, that's... Hal trying to pick it up on third. That is caught. And able to get it. <laughs> Micah said, nope. I'm good. Micah was like, yeah, that was cute, but... No. I love it. See, that is the Micah Parsons who I need to come and, like, have go good in the playoff. No. Here's Hal. Leighton Van Der Esch. Well done, Leighton. Well done. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I hate these guys. Having such a good game and you just quit, ruin any chance of a breakout. It is what it is, 21 nothing. Just frustrating because, like, we were playing really good. Three touchdown passes. Everyone was playing good. Okay, we'll see you guys against the Panthers. Dang it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 17. Guys, good news. Look at the bottom. 49ers lost. Meaning that with a win here, we have a force win against the Texans to end the season. With a win here, everybody, we officially get the number one seed in the first round. Bye. I will see you in the divisional. I wave. First round. Bye. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of cheesy. I don't know what I'm really... But we get a first round bye, essentially, if we win this game. Stat-wise, season-wise, I'm really proud of this team. Like, I'm honestly, I'm really proud of Rattler. I'm proud of Vaughn. Vaughn, like, literally with the amount of all-purpose he's had. Ferguson's had a really good season. We'll talk more in depth in stats at the end because, like I said, we still have two games to play. But, essentially, with the win here, guys, we take the number one seed. Good job, Vaughn. I'd love to get Vaughn over a thousand yards. Like that would be priority number one. He will only get better, and like ideally, he will get a superstar dev upgrade. Is what I'm kind of rooting for, and then that juke move is just gonna get that much faster. But he is a little bit undersized. He's not the fastest, and his juke move right now is a little bit underwhelming. Just to give three. Three truths about him. Gallup is my favorite because Gallup, no matter what clutch situation, I want Michael Gallup catching that football. They'll look to throw here on first down. This one yep. Good job, Vaughn. Holy moly. You see, like, the odd time he will just get completely depleted. And it's not even funny. He will just totally depleted. They'll drop to throw. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got him again, Ferguson. Pass taken in by his... They'll look to throw again. Just throw it. Just throw it. Ferguson is always... He started... Every... Like, what are the odds with 900 yards as a rookie? I don't know if he has a rookie. He's a two-year guy, I think. But I feel like the odds are decently in my favor that he could potentially dev up with that. I, I really do. Micah. Good hit, Micah Parsons. Third and fourth. See, that's what he does. Bad season, but he still randomly will just get me an unbelievable TFL that just changes everything. Uh, Bland, get out there. Play fake. Dang. I respect that throw a lot. I know you're running, bro. I just, no, I can't accept that. I just can't accept that is the result to that situation. There's no chance. Yeah, Bland, you're so good. 
Just sit. Just sit. Bland, have a season, dude. He's going to end with... I think he's got like six interceptions on the year. Let me just get closer, but make sure you get out of bounds. Yeah. As I say, as I'm saying the words, make sure you get out of bounds. I don't get out of bounds. <sighs> Proceeds to not get out of bounds. Nice, Brad. Nice, Spencer. Oh, you gotta punt this. I know what I need to do. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I know what needs to be done. I just can't. I won't, and I can't do it. Not when I know I got dots. Not when I know I got dots. Good throw. Spencer, if that's on the money, you're crazy. That was on the money. Like, not necessarily perfect, but very close. That I knew that was going to be there. Okay, take three. I'm playing for the one seed, so I'm kind of in try-hard mode right now. And this one is in need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down. Yep, Mike up. Still out there. They like to go on fourth and eleven. Yep. Scream Adam Gilmore. Okay. Touchdown here pretty much I would say guarantees the number one seed. We got lucky with the matchup. Like this being our matchup to end the season is definitely uh, a positive because look at this guy though. Look at this guy. Just at this point, he's just like saying to the entire NFL, I do this. My name is Spencer and I'm good at football. That's what he just told you. Let's look for CD Lamb actually. Good user, bud. Oof! That's a, that's a, I not a good read. It was not a good read. I'll take it, but that was, don't do as I do, do as I say. Don't do as I say, don't do as I, don't do as I do, do as I say. That's kind of cool that I called that. If you make it to this point, timestamp it. I maybe played too much Madden, but I, I knew from the moment I caught that ball that was a touchdown. I literally saw those two jukes. Yep, yeah, well done. GG's, dude. Okay, my camera's dead, and it's this is the last game I'm playing of the night. But that game, I pretty much just focused on passing. Four more passing touchdowns for Spencer. I'm chasing... Um, trying to win some type of award to make the decision easier on myself. Uh, he's number one. In, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's second in MVP. Okay, we'll see you guys in week 18. He is currently second for the most valuable player. That is interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, playoff divisional round guys. Okay, unfortunately for us, the most unfortunate thing for us is in the last week of the season and we're gonna go through oh gosh we get two upgrades with spencer Riley. i'm gonna go through the season stats i'm gonna go through everything we're in the second round we got the first round by with that win that we had and honestly a really good season this turned out to be statistically in the last game of the year uh the force win it was 10-3 he threw for 296 really 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 frustrated me um but i want to show you guys the stats i obviously want to spend those staff points we have 169 staff points waiting to be spent at this point. Um, we finish our rookie year with 39 touchdowns and eight picks. Vaughn runs for almost a thousand yards and he has 678 receiving. CeeDee Lamb has a great year. Jake Ferguson has a good year and Gallup and Cooks have about as good a year as I expected. On the defensive side of the ball, Bland, great season. Parsons, meh. Lawrence, meh. Gillilock, meh. And honestly, I could, I don't know. I don't know for sure what's gonna happen with those guys. Uh, and then our rookie was very much like 
very, I don't know, some some players in the game, they just don't play good. He was one of them. Just a really, 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 really rough season. As far as yearly awards, um, we were close on the MVP. We end up fifth for the most valuable player, and we end up third for the offensive rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year, we're not there. We do, however, win best quarterback, which makes me think there's a chance, because we win best quarterback, that there's a chance that we could potentially see an upgrade with them. Those are our stats. Now, let's talk playoffs. Three games to win a Super Bowl. We've made it this far. We've had a really good year. We've done it through running. We've done it through effective passing. We've gotten C.D. Lamb the ball. Our offensive line is easily the best in the league, I would say, at this particular point. Whether or not we can maintain this is the question, but while my O-line's like this, you gotta just enjoy it. We're going up against the 11 and six Buccaneers. Vaughn's gonna go up to 80 overall. 7,000 XP bar, I'm banking on him, hopefully in the off season with the season that he had going up to Superstar. I think he was up there for some awards and truly I think he kind of deserves it. Micah Parsons is already completely maxed out upgrade grade wise. We're gonna do our staff points and then we're also gonna go look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But let's do our staff points first. The way I see it, every Cowboys franchise I've ever had, um, if I'm just being totally honest, every single Cowboys franchise I have ever done has ended in absolute heartbreak and disappointment. <laughs> as, crazy, as sad as that is to say, every one. I have never had a Cowboys franchise end with anything other than me just wanting to throw my controller. Just being totally straight up with you. That's just how these have ended. You guys might famously remember two years ago, I did a Cowboys franchise. Three years in a row, I made the Super Bowl. Lost to the same guy every year in the Super Bowl. It's just been one of those teams for me. Um, and that's okay, but I really want that to change. This team's good, it's not great. I think we can win this game. Bo Nix is kind of a beast, he throws the ball well. Jamel Dean, it's gonna be a matchup, but either way, Guys, Cowboy football, we're at home. Let's get it. Yeah, you can see he, he's he's trying to run it. The thing that he might not know is I know how to block that. So just sliding right seems to do a lot. Good blocking, guys. Oh my gosh, Vaughn fumbles. Come here. You're going to be all right, bud. Second and 17. Well done. Lawrence had a quiet year. A really quiet year for us, but that play was just pure. Like, that was totally dominant what he just did right there. Need that from Parsons, too. They're gonna look to throw. That is caught in the territory because you've got Joe Flacco, Mark Sanchez, the only two rookies doing two playoff games in one. Okay, we gotta be better. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Nope. Bow mix. Come here, got him. Nope. Good job. Okay, get him off the field. He's good. Like, he definitely knows how to make his reads over the middle. Our D line for the first time all year, which what I expected to be the case all year. Our D line for the first time all year. Totally carried us right there. Like, completely full team carry, which was awesome to see. Offense, I didn't think we were moving horribly. We got a little bit unlucky, and it is what it is. No more fumbles. Get seven. We can take the momentum right back. Okay. We needed that stop. Good job, Spencer. Yeah, he's sending that stupid A-gap blitz. It drives me crazy when people just run that all game. Nice throw, Spencer. Nice throw, Spencer. There it is. Yeah, Ferguson, go up top, Ferguson. Okay, I figured him out a little bit. I have figured him out a little bit. He wants to run this glitchy blitz all the way down the field, and it's just like, as long as I block that up, his like coverage behind it is far from like phenomenal. So blocking that up has to be my number one priority. And then I think we can throw dots. I truly don't think he's got the greatest defense behind it. I think he found a blitz on YouTube and thinks it's excellent. 
It is excellent, but I'm gonna find a way to block it. Laser, 7-3, let's go play defense. He gets ball at half, so this drive is absolutely crucial that we get a stop. If you're gonna play cover three, dude, you're gonna leave those corner routes all day. All freaking day. I gotta get him out of this. Second and nine now. There's no way. Rattler. Intercepted. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. It's better defense, okay. At this point, it's gonna we're gonna need multiple stops. So we have to do everything we can to get out the field. Bro, how on earth? There it is. Okay, that helps. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Dang, it's a great throw. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Come here. Okay. He gets three, that's fine. Oh my gosh. Play defense. Oh, Rattler, I'm mad at him. I'm mad at Vaughn. I, like, I truly don't believe, like, either of those first two. Like, I've stopped him now twice in the red zone, and I'm in a horrible spot. But I feel like, offensively, for me, I at least think there's a chance we should have scored on both drives. Oh, my gosh. Who's that? Good job. How on earth are you holding on to that? We're just we're just late on everything. Second and four. Oh, he's gonna let this go for the end. Bland, you're different, man. Good job. Hey, Bland, even though you didn't make that play, thank you. They'll drop the throw. That is caught. Out of the gun now on third down. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got They'll try again with the arm here on second down. Yeah, he got close to look up. Careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they Oh did. my gosh, we haven't missed throws like this all year. On third down, he'll drop to throw. I need knock it out. How many missed throws and knockouts? Oh my gosh. Oh, he got me. Power to him. Oh, honestly, I'll power to him. He got me. Ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. A good start to the drive here. That's. They're gonna look to throw. And he's slow. Back to throw now on first down. He got me again. Wow. That one I could say that the last two drives he's totally lurked to me. Great lurks. Great lurks. It was probably cooked at that point anyways, but dang man. He outplayed me. Obviously, if I, I I feel like the game maybe is a little bit different and a little closer if it's not for the fumble and the the missed throw there, but at the end of the day he he definitely outplayed me. And we gotta look at some things. Oh gosh. Okay, it all depends on what happens in the offseason. With the with the QB situation, we're about to lose a bunch of these players, which is the most heartbreaking thing, but that's I guess part of the rebuild is figuring out how we are going to make this work. Um but yeah, I can't break the Cow Cowboys fans. Can't break the curse yet, unfortunately. They'll set up to throw. Diggs, like Diggs, just show up, Diggs. Now he's free to midfield. 
How about this? Nah, it's GG's. GG's, guys. Oh, okay. Well, now we talk about the future. A lot of these questions cannot be answered until we see devs, until we see what's going to happen. This throw on second and nine, like I step up right there, boom. I'm trying to throw in this window right here. And he gets hit, but the ball just sails on him right to Davis, where my guy doesn't even have a chance, which is the most frustrating thing. The other one on that last drive when we were down, um, this throw was 100% not on any. This was on Vaughn. Vaughn's got to catch this ball. You can see Vaughn has it. No. This throw um, was horrible to Ferguson on first down. It was just it was just bad. It was all bad. This throw was just him. He lurked me completely. I'll give him credit. He lurked me completely. He blitzed both guys on that side, and I thought I could like throw that really quick. I couldn't. He totally got me on that one. Shout out to him. He outplayed me and I'll own it. But we got lots to talk about, guys. The Cowboys franchise is not over. It is just beginning. Um, we got a new QB class coming in. I don't know what to do about rap. I, I don't know. That was a tough loss. That one, that one stung. I won't even lie. That really, really, really stung. We'll see in the next round kind of what everything's going to look like, how everything's going to be. But overall, one seed, excellent season. And just like that, poof. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's the Super Bowl and we're not in. Now, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Um, and a lot of decisions. And this next little bit, we're going to be talking about the draft because this is a very important part of the video. I need your guys to opinion on the draft, so stick around. I got to show you guys the players that did get upgrades, the players that didn't. Now, essentially, the main comment question that I have for all of you, Spencer didn't get anything. Um... Spencer got absolutely nothing. I was also informed by people that this draft class was wrong, which I did not realize that. But if you look at him, he's already 23 years old. So by rule, um, and like I said, I don't, I didn't make the draft class. They have him only as 22. I have to change his age to 24. We're gonna see what that does. Because like I said, already he's, he was born in 2000. He's 23 right now. He's not 22 years old. So I'm going to make that change and then we'll keep talking. Okay, so now he's actually his accurate age of 24 years old. And his XP only, um, it only goes up to 7,000. Now I have, I have, I have a lot to say about him. As I, I don't know. I really don't. I'm going to talk about the one dev upgrade we got. It was Vaughn. Shout out to Vaughn. We have our running back. Um. He goes up to superstar dev in the off season. He's gonna get ability, short out elite, spin cycle. I think the sky's the limit for Vaughn. I, I really do. I, I really like him. Um, now, other than that, we really didn't get anything. Jake Ferguson didn't go up. Tyrone Smith kept his superstar. Zach Martin, for all I know, after the Super Bowl, I'm gonna touch base um, again. But for all I know, he's still there. Jack Nelson, now, this is the big one. Demarcus Lawrence, guys. Development trace, ink decreased, guys. Say goodbye to Demarcus Lawrence. Um, he has no trade value, I've already asked. He's 33 years old. Micah Parsons is an X Factor still. Um, Princely, didn't, nothing happened with Princely. Linebacker wise, nothing. Trayvon is a superstar bland. This was the most disappointing for me um, by far. I thought there was a chance Bland's dev trait would go up. Somehow Gilmore is still a superstar. He didn't lose it, which really makes me think about the future. Our safeties are absolutely horrible. So with that all being said, I have a few questions on my mind. And I don't know. I, I truly, I wish I could look at you and tell you that Spencer Rattler is going to lead us to multiple Super Bowls. I wish I could. I don't know if I can. That's the issue. Now, we don't have, there is good players in this draft. There is. Um, I don't necessarily think I'm going to have a chance at some of them. I, I really don't. Um, JJ McCarthy, Carson Beck, Shadur Sanders, Jackson Dart. Quinn Ewers, Cade Klubnick, Kyle McCord, Jalen Milrow, I could probably get late, Hudson Card. Like, this is such a draft class 
that I just, I really don't know. I, I can't look at you and tell you that like the next franchise QB is here. So there's one quarterback that's on the market right now is Kyler Murray. He wants a first and a second. I don't think I can justify that. I think we have needs at other positions. I I guess my first question is, and that's this is for the comments, guys, is Spencer it? Now, keep in mind, he just had a, a almost MVP season and he's only a 75 overall. Potentially, we could draft a rookie that would already be a 75 overall. He's undersized, he's not that fast, and he was horrible in the playoffs, which is the main reason that I would feel like okay in moving off of him. It was kind of a one-year thing to figure things out, and it worked as a one-year thing. Trey Lance, I'm not re-signing him. Vaughn, we have our running back, obviously. Now, the main things that come into question are money. And the money thing, we can talk more in detail. It's just a mess. I really, really, really don't know what to do. So like, for example, Tyrone Smith. If he keeps Superstar, I would obviously keep him. The Gilly Lock is not that expensive, but is he gonna retire? Is it worth it? Is it time to move on? You know what I mean? Like, there are some of these players where I'm like, is it time that I move on? Bubba Bolden randomly went up to start F. That was one thing, actually. So someone like him, I look at him and I'm like, okay, we should probably bring him back. He's star dev and he was decent. And, but I'll play him as an actual safety. I need a user. Now, more so than anything, I need a user. I need someone that I can run around with. I need to accept the option of Tyler Smith. I don't know if I want to use a first round pick on a quarterback. I don't know if I want to trade up. I really, truly can look at you guys. I don't know what I can trade. I don't. I, I feel very much like meh about everything because I just don't know what I can trade if, for example, I did want to trade up. If that if that's what's on my mind. I wanted, let's say I want to trade up for one of these top quarterbacks. Connor Wiegman, Drew Aller, JJ McCarthy. Boom, you gotta be in the top 10. How am I gonna get to the top 10? I don't see a path to the top 10. Shadur Sanders, I don't think he will be there. You know, Carson Beck, I don't know if these guys are there. That's the issue. The players that you might be able to get are like a Jalen Milrow. Like some of these guys might be there, but I just don't know. I can't promise that they will. And I, I truthfully has, have no idea what to do. Running back wise, receiver wise. Let's talk receivers because let's open up the conversation about this. If you're still here, comment coconut drink because I know I'm rambling, um, but if you're still here, let's let's talk about this. For example, I'm sitting here and I look at my receiving core, okay? And I see 30 years old, Brandon Cooks. Star dev, never gonna get any better. I'll never get a dev game with him. I see 28 year old Michael Gallup. I feel very similarly about Michael Gallup. The nice thing is the Super Bowl just finished. As we speak, the Super Bowl just finished and it looks like the Raiders ended up winning, which means we can go to resign. So I'll see you all in resign. Okay, so now that we are in resign, we can see what happened to some of these players. Yo, right there, that Tyrone Smith keeping his dev and not retiring shows me a lot. It shows me this guy still cares. And to me, a left tackle is worth all of this. So pay him. And I he could have easily said no. Gilmore, he's somehow still a superstar. He's regressed to the point where he's still 90 speed. Pay him. Keep these guys around. Keep them like one year deals until like the end of time. I will keep re-signing them. Tyler Smith, accept his fifth year option. See where we're at. Brandon Cooks, say goodbye. I am not re-signing Brandon Cooks. Leighton Van Der Esch, say goodbye. Markel Bell, say goodbye. All of these guys are about to leave. Jonathan Abram, for whatever reason, wants way more money than I feel like he deserves. This is where we're at. We need a new receiver. We need potentially a new quarterback. And we gotta rethink a lot of things. There's a lot on my mind. There's a lot that's going through my head right now that I really don't know how to feel. So, do we get 40 yard dash times? If we got 40 yard dash times, I'd be able to give you guys a much, a much better idea. Once we get the combine, no, we don't have any of the combine yet. But like, do I draft a quarterback? Do I trade up? What do I do? Please, 
comment down below. Guys, the next episode is going to be coming out ASAP. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for all the love, support. I hope you guys enjoy these franchises. I have pick number 28 somehow. How? Who can I leverage in a trade? Who is it time to move away from? Is Spencer Rattler, Rattler the, the move? Do we draft a QB to compete with him? Why can we not get any pressure? Why were our DBs so bad? A million other things will be answered. Guys, please, 10,000 likes. We'll make the next video as soon as possible. Love you all. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post golf every day. Make me the happiest person in the world. Better go subscribe. Check out that channel. There's a link down below. My Instagram is tdbarrettyt. My Twitter is tdbarrettyt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button. Um, go watch another video here. And like I said, go subscribe to my second channel.